I'll be fine with a little blobbiness <laughs> around my head. It's fine. I don't need to set up a green screen. Fuck that dude. I never really did for the hideout shows. They like asked us to buy one, and then I was like, "No, I don't think you can tell the difference." So I'm not going to do extra work. Hmm. See, I can't. I, I had already had one, but it, it, it's definitely way better when I set it up. But I'm just like, meh, meh. Yeah, I guess I can put one back there. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, you'll get random flashes of, which seems better for the genre that you're just yeah, that's true. Reality <laughs> punching through like a a glitch cat you can pet every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if this one works. Which hey there, buddy. There we are. These tubes are too whimsical. <laughs> <laughs> Whimsical's fine. And I got the little stock photo watermark. Maybe not that one. Ooh, okay. Media social. <laughs> I have hosted you on. Nice. Hope we don't get hate rated. Give you all my hero all right. viewers. Apparently, that's a thing that happens now. What is that exactly? I don't know, but I think it's when like a bunch of Nazis and shit make bots and um, call you all sorts of slurs on your channel all at once. Uh, so, I think we'd have to be a little more popular. Yeah, so I think you're right. <laughs> glad A, uh, not popular, B. My, <laughs> oh, yeah. The privilege. My background. Oh, the privilege. oh, true. My background is a gasoline rainbow. Oh, oh nice. nice. That was what I used as my inspiration for chaotic. Chao what was my name? Chaotica? Chaosis. Chaosis, thank you. Oh, yeah. That was what his, uh, his suit was. He had a oh, good yeah. style. That was good. I missed that masks game. <laughs> that was a good game. That was a lot of fun. All right, let's make a character. Okay, just getting on my monitors. Okay, cool. Um, do you want to make characters first or pick a theme first? Oh, geez. I, I already started wading into the character keeper. Oh, yeah, that, that's totally cool. <laughs> I, made, um, I, I, I Once I got, I was reading the PDF, I went ahead and made mine because I thought, I don't. I I would we went through that process. I was like, oh, I don't think it, the theme is going to make a difference to my character once I start yeah. picking stuff. So um, the only thing I, I was thinking earlier today is like, oh, like there's no like set setting, so you know you could pick your occupation. <laughs> it could be like, I'm a fireman. I'm a fireman. I'm a fireman. I'm a fireman. <laughs> or like everyone could be like, I'm a medieval knight. I'm a spaceship oh, pilot. Right. I'm a <laughs> private eye. Oh, see, I thought. I, I think I'm missing. I thought the occupation field was the cop, not a cop. Oh no, the <laughs> occupation is what you are. Then you may or may not be a cop, depending. On top, you, you multitask. Everybody's got yeah. a side, side hustle. I, I was very. I was like, I probably should not play a cop in a Mark Major game. But I, was like, no, I mean, I'm gonna be a cop. It's a, it's a Phil K. Dick it's game, be an, so it's an idealistic cop. <laughs> we will see about that. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how familiar you are with. <laughs> I don't expect things to go well. Sometimes the cops don't even know they're cops. Oh. It's, it's that kind of thing. Seems like um, not. We're not going to know a lot about what's going on for ourselves. <laughs> oh, I can check both. <laughs> yep. <You're a> cop. <laughs> also, oh, totally legitimate. <laughs> um, you can also uh, pick your photo from that drop down. I spent a little while making too many photoshopped uh, this person does not exist pictures. Oh, cool. I, I literally went through <laughs> all of them. So I, nice. Your work was appreciated. I looked at every photo <laughs> available before picking the one I had. And I figured out that AI generated Pop energy. <laughs> random ones are like totally in in genre. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are how do I was wondering how you like so how do you make faces that don't exist? You just had it so uh, there's a website called this face does not exist ah, or this person does not exist.com. Yeah. Um, 
then they call it. What you really do is (laughs) you get two neural networks and you have them fight. fight. (laughs) And you make them fight. And then if you make them fight, they'll make faces sometimes. And the way the way they fight is who can be a person better? Yeah, they yeah. They they throw faces at each other and they're like, I could do better. I could do this better than you. Um, so that's um, called sometimes they do. Sometimes they adversarial don't. neural networks, and sometimes it's frightening. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I just went to this person does not exist.com, uh, picked a bunch of random faces that looked okay and not like had eyes on their hats and stuff, although that I mean that's a different game, I guess. <laughs> Uh, and then just <laughs> made some sweet Photoshop actions and ran through them all. But I didn't have to do that all by hand. <laughs> so it only took like two hours instead of eight. So. Oh. <laughs> but now I got a bunch of sweet, sweet photos and some sweet Photoshop actions to make Ink more. people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And <laughs> no copyright worries because. Oh, right. This those, those faces also does not exist. <laughs> never existed Fine. before and will never exist again. If you if you find a face you like and accidentally reload, oh well, <laughs> the, the face is gone forever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hide that last column of the keeper so that we have a little bit more. <laughs> Marion Kibble. I totally stole this font from a uh, sci-fi horror game character keeper. I, I, I just love it. <laughs> so right on. I took my description from uh, the very common casting breakdown that I'm often oh wow (laughs) perfect (laughs) I go out for so many parts it's like he's not unattractive but he's not like too attractive either he's (laughs) that's fair (laughs) okay (laughs) we don't want like a really handsome guy for this but we don't want a troll either (laughs) there's someone you wouldn't you know ever recall (laughs) yeah pretty much yeah I'm like Thanks. Um, yes. Yeah, and feel free to fill in those op- occupations for whatever job you feel like. <laughs> Even if I'm a cop? Even if you're a cop. You c- oh. It could be cop. It could be a specific okay. cop okay. occupation. It could be uh, something else and you're an undercover cop. Or maybe you don't know you're a cop. <laughs> the purpose-driven life. That's great. <laughs> Just uh, really bringing it back. <laughs> she loves mega churches. Oh boy, That's really, it's in the it's in the small groups. Really, it feels like a family. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I'm really happy with like some of these pictures are just like that is definitely that guy. <laughs> Peters is just like yeah. yeah. The Foxfire series. He does love the Foxfire <laughs> yeah. series. Oh there's yeah. another there's another guy with a hat that's just like, yeah, that guy is. I, I almost got the other guy. I almost got the like uh Weasley guy with the hat. Yeah, like the but I was like, like we won't be able to tell our oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like a steampunk red fair guy. Sat down at this and was like yeah. okay. This is the photo for that one. I know who this guy is. <laughs> popping right in here and didn't look at the others. Yeah. No, that one's perfect. Again. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> oh. and that guy's like halfway between David Letterman and Ryan Hill. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, it does. <laughs> it very much is. <laughs> I 
yeah, it was really hard yeah. like not to just come up with the stories for these people and then put it together. It's like, oh yeah, I know. That's yeah. That's... Ooh, what's my keepsake? What's your keepsake? Oh. A severed human Ooh. head. Yes. <laughs> Oh, the two deep. normal things that I am good at. Let's see here. Unclogging toilets. Yeah. <laughs> I don't take any of my. He's a handyman. Yeah. yeah. Well, it yeah. Checks out. <laughs> Getting sticky residue off when you've removed a sticker. <laughs> two target for target. <laughs> It's a shame our fans can't see these. I know. When we get enough money for a producer, they will. We'll... <laughs> they will be. They'll get this from us soon. They can be. They'll be a Patreon uh, exclusive releases. Oh, no. <laughs> for faded haveners only. Yeah. That sounds like way too much work. <laughs> so and way too much fame too. You know. Yeah. Also, yeah. So yeah, uh, you don't have a character as well. What no, I am. Uh, I am uh, the GM writer. Am I, am I not? The, 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 what's happening? Well, yeah. no, there's, wanted, there's a page know, there that says. I know there's things that can happen that switch who the GM is. So. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if if so, the reality die. Go if that goes down to three. Uh, you switch places with the GM, so I would take your character, oh, you and then you would be running the game. <laughs> Um, and that really can't happen unless you like, well, under extreme circumstances, unless you choose it to happen. Um, and if that ever happens to someone and they're like, I definitely do not want to do that, we'll work, we'll work with it. <laughs> and you say, too bad, fucker. <laughs> it's in the rules. You they brought us here to this point. Someone really right. smart wrote these rules. You the, the person who runs is... the game can't change them. Wait, no. <laughs> no! You let reality get this far gone. <laughs> Predicting the weather by feel. I know, I feel so boring now. I'm like, oh. Oh, that's boring is exactly what we want for well, starters. I know, I got from all the, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I... I... No, you're good. Already, no, I like already it. started like... going there. I, I literally like... have the Foxfire book next to my bed right now. <laughs> and have had it there for the last year. <laughs> Mostly red. I can't believe I, I you didn't know what it, know what it oh, was. I never, I'd never heard of it before. I guess you I, have to I, be like actual redneck like me to know. Yeah, you have to be from South Carolina. I can't yeah. remember if we had them in the house or if there were just a series that I saw at the library. You know, in the small I like tried to, there. I tried to memorize that shit because I was like, <laughs> I'm going to need this when I run away. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you didn't know how to make a, uh, make turn a, a shaver into a bench. house. <laughs> so I yeah, like I never got Fox very far fire. in it because I tried to memorize it. Mm. It's like crafting and outdoor survival, right? Yeah, uh, what they call now uh, bushcrafting. Oh. I want to look up a million YouTube videos on it. <laughs> I learned what Foxfire actually is. Yeah, it's that movie with Angelina Jolie, like way back, right? Where they're in a home for wayward girls or whatever. Oh, I hadn't heard of that one. Yeah, that's the only Foxfire like, I knew. <laughs> oh, I I learned recently that the some mushrooms glow and they call that Foxfire. Oh, oh that's cool. cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. Anyway, that's my currency as I know random facts. That's Nicole's. I don't know what Miriam <laughs> says yet. I think she, she can do math in her head. Yeah. Some Oh, can tell you the day of can tell you, tell <laughs> you what day of the week. You were born. Huh? A date is. Oh no. <laughs> That's one of the thinking about whether I should learn how to do, and then I'm just like, no. That, that's one of those things. Like, I mean, I learned how to do a Rubik's cube at least twice, and that if you don't do it all the time, you just, just forget. That's. I, I, I knew how to do the, the date thing too. It's like, yeah, but unless I like do it every day, like as a party trick for someone, I'm never gonna remember. That's not a normal thing, though. I'll just say, can do math in head. I learned how to do cube roots of very large numbers in my head. That was fun. Oh, cool. 
now I, I think I forgot mostly. And that it does say normal things. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I memorized the technique on Rubik's cube, but yeah, it's it's all gone now. Yeah. Never could do Rubik's cubes. I looked into it and I was just like. <laughs> And this looks like work. Yeah, yeah it's, my sister it's learned the algorithm, mechanical. and I was like, "Yeah, this is no longer fun." <laughs> like, I yeah, could there's do a it series of steps you could always do. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I like can program it apart. And... <laughs> <laughs> Take it apart, put it back together. Super oh, easy. Yeah. <laughs> Remove all the stickers. <laughs> Engineer. Um, cool. Do we want to just read out who our characters are? Uh, I think one thing <laughs> right. that's not in the rules specifically. Uh, I think I would like is, if not literally write down, but think about um, how you know the other players, how to know the other characters and like an emotion attached to them, sort of a scary, smelly, sexy thing. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that was something that I missed from Stewpot, where I was like, ah, oh, that would have yeah. made things easier. I don't remember that either, so I guess I can speak to it. I don't know what you're uh, Rupert, you want to start? Yes, my name is Rupert Frink. The description is a uh, everyman, not uh, unattractive, but unremarkable. Hard to describe if you had to. So if it's like, you know, did you see the man? You'd be like, yeah, but I don't, he's just like a guy. Just some guy. Uh, favorite book is a, uh, not a real book. I made it up called, Why Would You Do That? <laughs> Studying the hidden motivations within ourselves that seem to make no sense. When we go like, why would I do that? That doesn't seem to have any benefit to me. But there's always some like, like motivation as to why you would do that. Most pop psychology books, yes. Yep. <laughs> uh, personal keepsake is uh, an antique key on a leather cord necklace. Hmm. And uh, something about it appealed to me. That, uh, just the fact that it has a history, but also mystery. Who's, who's, who's owned it, what it went to. Uh, which goes along with my occupation. I'm a tchotchke trader. So, you know, I acquire like, mm. little antique tchotchkes and stuff and go around to shops and and sell them there. Like at flea markets or on eBay or just uh, anywhere I can. Personal? So more in person, like, yeah, yeah, the flea markets, like little antique shops, you know, and stuff around town. Um, but I, I mean, I, I I'm sure I dabble in the online trade as well, but I prefer the personal trade. Yeah. Uh, some drugs. Uh, I carry, my, it is my drug of choice. I, I carry around Juji's. That's a, the nickname for them, Juji's. Uh, they're chewable fruit flavored energy mm. drugs because I don't really like to sleep. Uh, but I also don't like swallowing pills. So I like flavored <laughs> chewables. Uh, and, uh, and it says you are a cop. Are you a literal cop or just like uh, um, like I, a cop I, in I mind? Do, <laughs> in, I mean, in mind, I did think I was a, a literal like cop. Who, That's totally cool, yeah. Who was like, who got into it, uh, you know, uh, regardless of, of, of the reality situation, who got into it with that idealism, like, yeah, you know, I'll do yeah. good, and I'll help the community, and I'll, like, put away bad guys, and it's a good thing to do. Uh, any particular rank beat department? Um, I figure, like, I don't know rank, like, I'd say mid-range, because, like, obviously his idealism probably doesn't function great in, in a cop <laughs> environment, but he's also, the two normal things I'm good at is learning new things and lying. So mm. I figured that like got him at least somewhere. In the like a detective, maybe. Yeah, so he's made, you know, he, he knows how to play the game, kind of tell people what they want to hear, and even if he's not crazy about how shit actually works, so I think that would have got him, so, you know, to the midway track, and that's probably is about it, as far it... as he's ever going to go. Is it Detective Rupert Frank? Uh, so yeah, I like that. All right. Good. Um, just the general uh, general purpose, or do you have, are you in a particular department? Uh, no, I think kind of you know because again, like I'm sort of like some people I can fool, some people aren't crazy about me, so I kind of feel like I'm, I'm the junk drawer of the yeah. police department, where this is like. The floater that takes. <laughs> Nobody floater. else wants to take care of that. Give it to Frank. Mm. Nice. Uh, Frank has your... become a verb. <laughs> <laughs> Frank. <laughs> uh, good at learning new things and good at lying. Nice. Um, awesome. Uh, what about Chuck? Oh, okay. So my character is Chuck Garn. He, him. Basic description. Cop energy, but cheap, shabby, gone to seed. Um, he wears thrifts. Clothing is thrift shop hodgepodge, too warm for the climate, hat with mysterious patches. 
favorite books are the Foxfire series, like we were saying about uh, crafting and outdoor survival techniques. This keepsake, a shiny lighter with an embossed symbol. The symbol looks like a neural net ran with animal pics <laughs> with an atrocity that can't exist. Literally what your picture is, yeah. Dog. <laughs> Um, some drugs he likes static, which is a relaxing drug that leaves you with blackout gaps in your memory. Uh, usually only has cheap drinky pills. Um, occupation, general handyman outside the city. He fixes farm equipment mainly. Um, two normal things that he's good at, predicting the weather by feel and haggling over prices. Um, I have listed him as a cop and not a cop. And I'm not sure what that means yet. He's exactly. Schrodinger's cop. We can find out what that means. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, awesome, uh, Miriam. Uh, this is Miriam Kibble. Um, she, her, uh, and she reminds you of that mom in the carpool line you met that one time. You think she's too target for she's too target for target. Looks like she just like took the mannequin mannequin's ideas before the mannequin had them. Uh, she loves. Uh, the Purpose Driven Life, which is a, uh, for those of you who are not raised in strange Christian households, is a very Christian book, very oh. mega churchy. Mm. Um, her personal keepsake is uh, googly eyed seashell art. She's got like two uh, <laughs> clam face uh, people playing cards and says, What happens at Myrtle Beach? Happens. <laughs> she is a dentist office receptionist. She, the drugs she has on her are um, tarpazepam, which uh, known as tarps on the street. It's a barbiturate patch, and it always leaves you kind of rashes, and sometimes you get hallucinations. Uh, but it calms you down. It's like a tranquilizer. She's really good at doing math in her head and quoting Bible verses. Nice. And not a cop. Not a cop. <laughs> All right. We asked her if she's not a cop. <laughs> she said she's not a cop, so I guess, which would Mary lie to you? Yes, um, I am not a cop. Yes. Uh, are you a cop? Yes, not a cop. Um, <laughs> uh, so you, you are all our friends or colleagues. Um, how do you know each other and how do you feel about each other? Oh, man. I know how I feel about um, Rupert Frank. I need to figure out how to feel about Chuck. Oh no. I think, <laughs> which is probably negative. Uh, Rupert, yeah. I think, is just like the the nicest boy. Like he's he's gonna one day make captain, and like I just think he's like the the big deal. So like a like an admiration like like weird mom crush. Um, is, and then is Miriam? Does Miriam have a family? Sure. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Supposedly. I mean, not unattractive. So, okay, cool. Um, yeah, and a, she's, and she's, got, she's got a family. I, I got to figure <laughs> out how I feel about Chuck. I feel like she, oh. uh, maybe she grew up with Chuck and is annoyed by him or something. Nice. <laughs> Just thinks he's like no good. <laughs> <laughs> he did something bad in high school and she's like, you're bad. Probably. I'll, I'll elaborate more on that and figure it out. <laughs> yeah. uh, how does Chuck feel about folks? And how did you how do you know them? Oh, that's a good question. I like the notion of yeah, me and Chuck and Miriam went to high school went to high school together and have just kind of been in the same town since, I guess. And so they've kind of never quite gotten out of each other's way. Um, yeah. Uh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like Chuck doesn't doesn't like Miriam in return, but I think it's like an insecurity sort of thing almost. Mm -hmm. Like Miriam has it together, has a family, has people who care about her. Chuck in my mind is a complete loner who's yeah. <laughs> living in a shack somewhere. <laughs> and so I think he's got this superficial layer of, yeah, yeah, she's sold out to all of this stuff. And really it's yeah. just, just envy. <laughs> I think Miriam thinks that Chuck had so much potential and just squandered yeah. it. <laughs> and I can easily imagine Chuck having a similar vibe with Rupert of just like, again, he's he's achieved some form of success in Chuck's eyes, so he doubles down harder on, <laughs> yeah, but he's a cop. <laughs> yep. 
doing stupid cop things. Meh. Cushy job with a pension. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chuck hates everyone, which will be so easy to play in this game. Smelly, smelly, <laughs> smelly, <sarcastic>. smelly. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, it's how okay. does Rupert feel about folks? Uh, well, I think Rupert knows Miriam because that's uh, she works at the dentist office where he goes and gets his cleanings. Yes. But and they always have like a good chemistry. When he comes in, they have some good banter and they talk. And I said, oh, I like Mary, man. She's cool. I'd, I'd, <laughs> you know, kind of like to wish we were friends like outside the dentist office. And uh, you know, always hangs out maybe a little too long after his appointment because he doesn't want to stop talking to her. She's fun. She's cool. And she's pretty. Uh, Chuck, I think, um, I think that uh, Rupert has multiple times had to go out to chuck's and it's again you know rupert's the junk drawer of cases so it's never mm. anything big chuck's never actually been arrested or in trouble or anything it's <laughs> always like somebody complained that there was some <laughs> weird shit being stockpiled in chuck's back shack or whatever and rupert had to go check it out back like, chuck you know you can't carry keep that amount of fertilizer in your shack it's <laughs> It's illegal to have that much fertilizer and you know just little things like that where it's like <laughs> gotta have it for the farms <laughs> but, you know he, he, whenever he gets to call out to chuck places he knows it's not going to be violent or turn in with ping it's just going to be an annoyance and chuck's going to be a bit gruff and yeah but never actually threatening i think yeah, in real world. rupert has to give him the business and be like you can't do this you can't do that <laughs> come on chuck don't make me come out here again man I think Chuck keeps trying to allude to like his shadowy past as like he wants to hint heavily that he used to be a contract killer or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's zero percent convincing. Well, he is a cop, not a cop, so I'm sure he's probably at yeah. different times. Uh, he got something. I, I, at least inferred that maybe he used to be a cop, but then also how he hates cops. So it's like, are you, did you have? You have <laughs> Saying you had cop history, I ain't saying I had cop. History. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not saying I didn't. Not saying I did. Um, yeah, what if the I, what if the cops had cops? That's what I would do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pry a little bit more. Um, Rupert, one of one of the other two does something that you find uh, like grating or annoying. Uh, which one and what is it? I, I would have to be Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's th th like. Just like some habit he has. Well, like he he will just never give habit? me he will never just give me a straight fucking answer, ah! ever. Nice. And I'm like, Chuck, if you just just tell me that you'll get rid of the fertilizer down to the legal limit, he's like, oh, I mean, I'm I maybe don't know I'll much fertilizer I'll need. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can tell you, I'll try. <laughs> and, I, and I just never get like a solid, yes, no. I'll get rid of exactly answer. as much as I need to in my mind. I, I get rid of it as people use it. So, <laughs> um, and conversely, uh, then Miriam has some habit or personal tick that you find very charming or endearing. Uh, what is that? I think she's. Uh, I think she's very like touchy feely. You know, just in that way that, like, you're you're never quite sure if it's flirty or not. She's just mm -hmm. like a touchy feely person. You know, always mm -hmm. like, oh, touching your hand when she's talking to you, or touching your shoulder, and. And I think that Rupert, like, he doesn't have a family. His whole life is, has kind of led to him sort of being a bit of a loner. And so it's always, you know, it's, it's like, whoa. Sorry, I just suddenly had this weird association of like, ooh, it's pandemic heat. <laughs> <laughs> because what made me think about that is because, like, quick tangent that's related is when I've had to go do, like, the I do sometimes the fake patient for UT yeah. things or I'm a fake person or whatever. And you go into sometimes you know i've gone in for physical exams i'm like oh it's kind of nice to be touched <laughs> but not like in a sexual just like oh yeah just like oh yeah, just, yeah. serotonin so, nice yeah, it's, it's, I think it's the same with rupert since he doesn't kind of i think realize how absent that is from his life till he's like talking to miriam and she'll like touch on the hand like, oh, oh like, like when i first joined the improv community <laughs> <laughs> after being a scientist for so long i was like Oh. Everyone in love with me, or they just touch <laughs> each other? I mean, six of one, right? Um, Chuck, uh, one of oh them, uh, <laughs> one of them knows something about you that no one else knows. Uh, oh. Which one? Oh, that had to be Miriam. Yeah. What is it? Um, 
I think the first thing that hits me is that uh, that Chuck has a strong religious background mm. that he is both um, walked away from and doesn't tell anyone about. Um, he used to he used to be the best Bible study leader. <laughs> Mm. Got the most little uh, bookmarks for knowing quotes. <laughs> and, and he probably ran in like the most cultish circles of the, the local church scene. Youth Perfect. group. <laughs> um, and then you know uh, something about Frank that no one else knows. What's oh, that? geez. Um, phew. I'm going to say, I, see how he tell me how you feel about this, but um, I know that sometimes you'll just stay awake in these marathon sessions until you start having like twitchy sort of visions about how to solve whatever is in front of you. It's like the jujis, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, it's, it's not just a, it is a not liking to sleep thing, but sometimes it serves that purpose as well. Um, nice. Yeah, I think uh, that probably comes into play. Like, if if I happen to be on that end of scale when I have a call out to Chuck's place, mm -hmm. yeah, then it's a bit freaky because he's almost like dealing with a junkie. Where he's like, he's a bit twitchy and looking around. Yeah. And, uh, he can he can, and, uh, he can feel he can feel your weather kind of yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, cool. And Miriam, um, one of these guys owes you something. What is it, and who? Mm, I think Rupert. Uh, a while back borrowed um, borrowed a car and it ended up getting crashed. So he still owes me to pay me back, but I like have such a big crush on him that I'll never bring it up. <laughs> awesome. Um, and so what do you owe to Chuck? Oh. Um... I owe. I think I owe Chuck an apology. Ooh. Uh oh. And it's. I'm trying to figure out why. It's some. Mm. So, so when he left the church, there was. Yeah, I think when he left the church, I spread rumors about him. Oh the no. And, I'm, I, because I was so angry that he was leaving. And I owe it to him to clean that up and apologize to him, but uh, I just have this like grudge. And anytime I see him again, I get reignited. I'm like, ah, oh, he deserves, <laughs> deserves. It's not the truth, but it is the it, it, it ends in means. Yeah. It, that necessarily wasn't true about him, but other bad things must be. Well, it may as well be. Um, cool. Yeah, what uh, place, time, and place do we want to put this? Um, hmm. uh, the options in the game are, oh, and yeah. of course, we, we we can add to these or make them whatever we want. Uh, Twenty years from now, but everything is pretty much the same. Uh, March twelfth, nineteen eighty-two, Tuesday, uh, in a Gernsbeckian sci-fi future with rocket ships and whatnot. Uh, sometime in 1974 or uh, right now. <laughs> I like the idea of doing 20 years in the future, but it's the same. But I can oh, be God, convinced. Yeah. That's what I felt. Yeah. Cool. And that there awesome. are still mega churches and police stations and farms. Where, like, if this was a movie, it'd be obviously set in the future, but it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's not like, oh, crazy future. It's like, yeah. It's like, oh, the TV is your fancier, yeah. Like Children of Men sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah so 2041, 20, yeah, cool. Uh, oh, look God, that is 20 years from now. Ah. <laughs> no, right? Ah. Uh, um, any particular place or just town? It doesn't have to be a whatever you like. I'm feeling like a, you know, I definitely like a, 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 a city. That obviously Chuck lives outside of. Yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> there has to be a city if you're gonna live outside of the but, city. Yeah, the city. <laughs> but yeah, not like I, I mean, in this anyway, yeah, I'm feeling definitely like big city-ish. Yeah, at least it can just be size or bigger. The yeah. city, if we want, and we can nail okay. that later if it makes. Yeah, I feel like it's like a Midwest. Yeah. Like a non-coastal city. Mm -hmm. Cool. Awesome. 
Uh, sweet, that's a lot of really good stuff to work with. Um, so there are 20 themes to choose from, uh, oh, no. two drop downs. Um, we can either uh, split them up. Someone picks one, someone picks the other. We can uh, do it by consensus. We can just <laughs> roll for it, whatever. Yeah, do like. you have the generator from False Patterns still? This, the, yeah, this is what that's from. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the, the I'm yeah. a fan the, of the random generator. The actual generator is in Flash, so unfortunately. I'm up for a random. Um, cool. Let me roll 2d20 then. Roll 2d20. Death, death. <laughs> <laughs> death, death. Aliens, aliens. Uh, so we got a four and a seven. So that is uh, drugs and identity. It looks <laughs> like. Works. All right. Themes are drugs and identity. <laughs> uh, and uh, for those of you playing at home, we also had available aliens, animal, death, fate, government, machine, Mars, media, migration, money, planet, psychic reality, robots, sex, status, time, and war. Um, any combination of these is amazing, as we saw during <laughs> False Matters. Um, cool. Drugs and identity are the two main themes of the game. Um, cool. So this is how it works. Um, we do scenes. Uh, pick pick where we want to start and uh, pick a couple people to be in it and do the thing. Um, when stuff happens, um, when the, when you're trying to do something uncertain or you're in a risky or weird situation or some other fucked up shit is happening, uh, tell everyone what's going on, uh, what you're trying to do and how, uh, and then say what bad thing might happen. Uh, make it really bad. And then we're going to roll three dice, regular six-sided dice. Uh, one goes in the good thing box, one goes in the bad thing box, and one goes in the reality box. Um, Joy reality. If, if the, if the good get, thing... Go, yep. Should we get physical die? Um, we could. There's a reality die thing here on the sheet if you want to use that. Um, but yeah, I'm up I for... Won't, I won't need them like in front of me, will I? Oh, uh, no. no. Okay, yeah. no worries. I'll just use the dice roller. Um, cool. So if uh, the dice in the, the die in the good thing box is a five or a six, uh, the good thing happens. Uh, if the thing in the, the die in the bad thing box is a five or six, the bad thing doesn't happen. Oh, um, okay. So uh, you want high dice in both of those if you can. Um, you want high in all three. Yeah. Which is probably uh, never possible. And then the reality box uh, is basically reality starts at six. Uh, if the reality die is lower than the current reality score, the reality score goes down by one and something happens according to the chart. Um, there's also a bunch of questions, uh, kind of like uh, Passiones, uh, you can ask. So if you answer any of these yes, you can tick up one of the dice, one number. So those questions are, are you high? Uh, is this something that you're good at? Is this part of your job? Or have you read about something like this? Um, and then any of the questions of these that you answer yes to, you have to take down one of the dice, <laughs> down one number. So are you too high? Are you not oh, high enough God. or in withdrawal? Uh, is this unlike anything you've ever seen before? Are you in an unfamiliar environment? Or are you hurt or otherwise fucked up? Um, and th those lists are there. We can <laughs> refer to them as, as we need to, because I won't remember them. Um, and those are, that, that's basically the rules. If reality gets down to one, the world falls apart <laughs> and we're done. Um, otherwise, we just uh, play until it feels good. Um, there's, if you ever become the GM, there's a tiny one sheet, three paragraph thing of about what to do. Uh, oh no, it's it's pretty easy. I'm in control <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. Basically, say what happens and then ask you guys what you do. If you don't have any ideas, ask you guys. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Um, and fall. everyone dies. <laughs> the, the, the rules are pretty uh, light, so if we're like, oh, this would be cool, totally do it. Uh, and then just be cool, but we have a problem with that. Um, so, oh man, we are in 2041 um, in and around the city. Um, does anyone have a hit for a scene they would like to start? Uh, if not, I can I can give you something. Um, 
Keith, I think you're muted. Oh, hello. Oh, there you are. <laughs> just just talking quietly. Don't know. What, um, I wonder if my noise suppression. Do I have that? Oh. Turn my background denoiser off just in case. Got a gate on there. Hmm. Um, uh, if you guys don't have anything, I would suggest maybe starting off with Rupert paying a visit to Chuck's shack. That's exactly. Oh, what that's I was where I was going. Yeah. That's All right. Just... That sounds great that, then. That was what I said when I was muted. I was like, I feel like it's not a lot to Chuck's. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, sweet. Uh, Rupert, what, what are you getting called out for? I feel like it's time the neighbors have been complaining about like just some strange noises from his back shack. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you know, can you elaborate? And they're like, no, just like. Noises. It's like bang, bang, they're, bang they're, on the door. They're weird and not normal. And I'm like, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Back of my head now. <laughs> Chuck Shack. So, uh, cool. Chuck pull up Shack. In, a, in a department Chuck vehicle because I don't have one of my own and I wrecked the one I borrowed from. From, uh, from what's your name? I from Miriam. From Miriam. Oh, yeah. I, could, I need to rename myself. And not a strong driver. <laughs> uh, Rupert, do you have a partner? No, nobody wants to partner with me. Okay, cool. Especially with the crap cases I get. They're like, no. A, he doesn't need a partner for those crap cases. And B, who wants to go work those crap cases with Rupert? Fair. <laughs> nobody like, wants to get franked. <laughs> you don't want that frank to run. <laughs> yeah, what a ruin your career. Well, you know, pulls up and as usual, just, you know has no worries about this so he just like strolls right up to the door i feel like like tack 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 and i think while that's going on the there's like a an, a doorway to a cellar that pops open <laughs> and um chuck trudges up carrying a box of something <laughs> that's <laughs> rattling as he as he moves with it um uh yeah <laughs> And I think he just sort of, uh, he's gruff as everything, as always. Like, oh. And I think he just always calls him Copper or something. <laughs> <laughs> copper. And just as his procedure, he, I, I, I'm always just got my badge already up. But when he opens the door, badge is up on display. I mean, not that he doesn't know who I am, but, you know, you got to do this. <laughs> well, except I think I'd be coming around behind you or something. I'd like oh, popping nice. out from the cellar thing. <laughs> <laughs> no matter. I'm standing there before you're knocking at the door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like, you need something yeah. <laughs> while he's carrying this bag of, or this box of things. Chuck, I, I, I think I think this is a new record for the least amount of time between my visits. Two days since I was last here. Two days. Uh -huh. I mean, maybe are we are we coming friends? Are you just getting lonely? Do you want to see me? And I think company. honestly that like hits Chuck a little, like he kind of looks down a little bit and then back up and is no. <laughs> well, I don't have much time for this. I need to move these things. And he very gingerly puts one box down on the on the porch. Well, I'm sure it will come as no surprise to you, Chuck, that we got another call from the Maybreeze next door. Uh, he spits on the ground. <laughs> They said that you had some weird sounds coming out your back shack, Chuck. Uh, yeah. Farm country, everything makes sounds. <laughs> well, they, usually they make sounds outside. Uh, anything going on inside your back shack that we would need to be worried about, Chuck? Well, I don't know what worries a man, <laughs> says Chuck. <laughs> Is there... Do he pulls know? out a wrapping paper and starts tapping something into it. <laughs> Do you know what might have been going on in your back shack that they might have heard that I could tell them to ease their minds what it was going on in your shack that's totally legal? Um, he stares Rupert in the eyes and says, windmill repair. <laughs> in a way that just screams lying. <laughs> Like it, it's not necessarily a lie. There is wind power around here, but so you're telling me you, you, you're repairing a windmill in your back shack, and that's what they heard. Metal stresses. 
um, grinders, that I sort of thing. I don't suppose you, you'd want to just let me take a look in your shack, would you? If I asked very nicely. I, I think he just, like, glares. Like, they've had this conversation several times. And Rupert is never allowed in the shack without a warrant. And so it's just, like, cold, icy stare back at him. Like, clearly a joke, and it just gets under Chuck's skin. All right. Well, uh... Well, Rupert, if you could possibly uh, keep your windmill repairs to before 10 p.m., then, uh, you know, I'm sure it'll be better for both of us. You don't want me here. I don't want to be here. And then I won't have to come here. And it's good for everybody. The Maybrys won't complain. Well, I mean, they'll probably still complain about something. But oh, you, you tell the really Maybrys to keep their business to themselves. <laughs> I just said, well, I can't really do that, but... Uh, hey, you know what? Nothing else, Chuck. Me and you, we both don't like the Maybreys, so got that going for us. Uh, yeah. Is it is it okay for the sound to start up right now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Chuck, what what does the sound sound like? Oh man, I think your first instinct is that it's screaming, <laughs> but then you realize no, it's a mechanical sound. Um. Is your uh, windmill repairing itself right now, Chuck? Uh, Got to run tests. <laughs> Is there anybody else in that back shack, Chuck, that I need to be worried about? No, no just and, forget the last part. Is no, no, I think in the back shack. Chuck? I think there is a moment where like Chuck is again like a little hurt by this accusation, <laughs> like, and so he's like, no, and then he's sort of. Puts back, puts his face back on, and nobody in there but me. I don't let anyone in there. I, I, <laughs> the noise is just still going on. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Maybrays walks out. <laughs> yeah, I, I think like there's maybe there's like a, a zoom shot of like and like out the kitchen window like. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Maybe I'll go ask the Mabrys if that was the sound they were hearing, and we can see if they sync up. Let's... I'll be, Some I'll crime be detective work. <laughs> I may be back, Chuck. I'm going to go talk to the Mabrys. I think Chuck kind of rolls his eyes and goes back down to the to the cellar to get another box of whatever. Uh, so that box is sitting there on the porch? Yes. <laughs> I, I definitely think Chuck, I mean, uh, Chuck. Rupert would take Rupert. It, yeah, back. try to sneak a quick glance in the box. I mean, he's walked away. About it. Yeah, Rupert, what's in the box? Uh, well, and I open the box. It's like, Zephyr, Zephyr, what's, in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? What's in the box? It's been a foul show. In the box are some parts that I don't recognize. They definitely, they look like very high tech for farm parts or like not, <laughs> very strange because not just like i'm like that does not look like farm machinery it's very and i don't i mean can, do, i have a question do i recognize any of the parts is that thing we roll for or is that just um, we decide we, or how to, it sounds like an uncertain situation yeah. we could totally roll this i'm curious um, about if i recognize yeah. it especially any contraband parts is yeah. what I'm really curious Or a tchotchke, about. maybe. Or um, a valuable tchotchke. <laughs> <laughs> he just steals all the valuable shit from the, the box and checks it out. Um, let, let's ask the questions first and do, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll see how it works this way. Okay. Um, are you high right now, Rupert? I, I, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm definitely chewing the Jujis. You're on your Jujis? Ju is it Ju but, Julie? Jujis? Jujis. Yeah, Jujis. Um, ju ju Jujis fruits. Yeah. Is this something that you're good at? Um, I think I'm good at it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm a decent detective. I'm not He's good at trashki recognition. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Good at that, for sure. Yeah, and definitely part of your job. Yeah. Yep. Um, do you have you read about something like this? You'd have to make a case for it. But... Um, yeah, yeah, nothing. That doesn't okay. help me as feeling right. Understanding. Chuck's hidden motivation. Yeah. Uh, are you too <laughs> no, hot? Or are you just like, 
just like riding it right no, now. No, I'm just yeah. I think I'm just at maintenance high, you know. Okay, and so you're not. You you are also high enough or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, is the stuff in the the stuff in the box is unlike anything you've ever seen before, though, right? Yeah, there's that. Okay, so that's minus one. Uh, you're not in an unfamiliar environment. Uh, are you hurt or otherwise fucked up right now? Nah. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're gonna roll three dice. And you can t add uh, two pips to those dice Ooh. in whatever way you like. That's Where is our idea. dice room? <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I didn't I make one for this one. I can let me make one for you. I just made roll, one. Roll dice with friends. Oh, Come to it? my room. Okay. Hey. Roll dice with hey. friends. Yay. Empire. Hey. <laughs> I, like, I like rolling dice with my friends. All right. This is a contractual obligation. Oh, you are my friend. Oh, okay, oh, uh, so that's a that's a one and a four and four. Um, oh, we didn't we didn't ask what the bad thing was. I'm sorry. What's oh, the bad true. thing that could happen? Uh, uh, Chuck catches me rifling through his box. Can you make yeah. it a little bit worse, maybe? Sure. Uh, Chuck, I I I he I turn around to find Chuck with a weapon pointed at me. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm okay. Rifling through his box. Is that cool, Chuck? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so we have a one, a four, and a four. Uh, what would you like to bump up by two? You can split them across dice or bump one up by two. Um, let me see. Man, Max, man, Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely going to take one of the fours to a five. Well, let's just take both fours to fives and leave the one okay. and one. Dump reality? Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> reality. Sweet. Reality. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Uh, oh, so we, we both well, get point, the good thing. At this no matter thing. what, we're going to fuck reality. Yeah. So it actually doesn't, because it, it, it doesn't matter how much it's below, right? It's just either below yeah. or it's not below, right? Aha. Uh, so that's so actually a great role. It is. It is. Uh, literally mid maxing. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's very specific. Um, so a uh, good thing happens, bad thing does not happen, and we'll drop reality by Bowen when it's done. So uh, what's the what's the good thing here that happens? Tchotchke. Um, you, uh, you do the thing you want to do, and you say how it goes. Um, I do recognize that one of these parts is a, uh, is a cross network regulator that lets you communicate with any net, like instead of being network specific, it communicates mm -hmm. with any networks and those are not legal because normally you have to pay per network you want to communicate or, you know, I, yeah. I pay to be on this network. So having a, uh, a cross network regulator. This isn't the 2020s anymore. You can't just yeah, no. <laughs> um, that, that, have that some sort of legal. internet. That yeah. connects. That's definitely illegal. You need um, the proprietary awesome. Amazon connector to get to the Amazon <laughs> network. I think that that's actually a, like we. I'm totally happy folding that in. Like the internet has broken up into smaller subnets that smaller are not corporate subnet. Feature. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, super for that as a background detail. Um, Disney awesome. net. Disney well, net. I feel yeah. like even though I know that, and I, I don't know if this y'all tell me, I don't know if this undermines this whole interaction. But I now that I know this. I kind of feel like I don't give a shit. It has nothing mm -hmm. to do with why I'm here. And I'm like, yeah. you know what? If that's the worst fucking thing Chuck's doing, I don't <laughs> care. I don't. I mean, it's illegal, and I do care about the rules. But like right now, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of coming to Chuck's. I'm not even, I'm not investigating that, investigating the noises. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that, and you know, maybe that'll come into play later in a conversation. Mm. Cool. Um, so you're gonna take didn't off? See that. Didn't see that. I'm gonna go talk to the Mabry, so we can bounce awesome. to somebody else if we want to. Um, so reality is down to five. I'll change that. Um, and so I'm gonna introduce something uh, related to the first theme, which is drugs. Um, and I think uh, I'm gonna lean on Chuck's static and just say when <laughs> Chuck comes back to the porch. Uh, <laughs> You don't have any. You don't have any recollection of Rupert being there. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! Uh, and in fact, you're just like, I thought, I thought I was carrying this box, but there's another box here. Who left this box here? Oh, okay. Um, and you're pro you're probably you know this is not an unusual thing, um, mm. but it's it's always jarring when it's like yeah, and and context dependent, right? Like. 
oh, this was some valuable shit. I shouldn't have blacked out then. Okay. Yeah. So probably starts counting everything in the box as nice. we close out of the scene. <laughs> um, awesome. Miriam, where are you hanging out? If you have any idea. Um. Oh, can we do a scene with your family maybe? Yeah, I was, I, yeah, yeah. Let's do a scene with my family. Okay. Um, so I'm trying, to I'm trying to convince them yeah. to go. I, at church is kind of my life because mm -hmm. it's like the only place I can like scheme and like get power. Um, and my family is not into going to church, but I'm trying to convince them. Easter's coming up. Trying to get them just to go for this weekend. Um, uh, what, so what's the what I, makeup what of your I, family? Um, I have um, a husband uh, and and three children. Mm -hmm. An older girl and son who are both high school age. And then I have one that's a little bit younger. Um, the oldest is a boy. Let's get it right God damn, I have to give everybody names. <laughs> um, my husband's name is Malcolm. And I will Malcolm. Malcolm was, Kibble, did you take his name? Malcolm Kibble, I took his name. And my oldest son, who is a junior in high school, no, who's a senior in high school, is... Um, Before you answer, I have a question. Are you the type of mom that gives your kids alliterative names? Oh, God. I am. Oh, no. And they all start with J. So we've got <laughs> Justin. I knew someone like this in elementary uh, school. Oh, Justin names like Carrie and Jessica <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, Ju Junior <laughs> Junior. His his name is Malcolm, but we got Junior. Um, yeah, so we got Justin, Jessica, and Junior. Justin is a senior. Jessica is a junior. Junior in high school, and Junior is um, a fifth grader. <laughs> and M Malcolm was like, "We are naming." one Malcolm <laughs> not not Jalcom not anything like that Malcolm. <laughs> but, I, but I I call him junior because uh, yeah yeah I think everyone um, calls he, him junior he, he insists on calling him Malcolm figure because he's the only um yeah so, um, cool. so what's have, the setting of where you're I have cooked this? I do not um I have cooked them a very nice dinner which is a little out of character usually we're like whatever ragu spaghetti um tonight was like the one meal i know how to make which is pot roast mm -hmm. um so i made pot roast and i'm pretending that it's just like oh i had a i'm trying to butter them up so that they'll go to church with me this weekend so that i can see and appear to the other church members like uh like i have a good family and I'm not just there because I love the politics. Um, I think the, the two high school kids are, uh, they are on devices that are, uh, uh, they're iPad-ish, but they're piece of paper they can roll up. They have screens on them. Um, oh, okay. So they can like serve, like if they want to like, slide it under their placemat or whatever and slide it back. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I think Junior is just like super into having uh, like, he's like, Mom, this is like going to a restaurant. Where's the, where's the, did you make bread? Can I have some bread? I'll have the bread. Oh, Junior. Uh, well, it's not, it's not like Red Lobster. We're Can not I have some hot dog, <laughs> some hot dog rolls? Hot dog rolls. They yeah. don't really go with hot rolls. Um, but it could be like a oh. hot dog. I can't have a oh, pot dog. Okay, baby, you can have a pot dog. Um, I think when Malcolm's you come like, the kitchen you spoil the, him. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, Malcolm is like leaning over to Junior, kind of like not scolding necessarily, but like talking to him in kind of a hushed tone, just like, just 
Well, Jessica um, is like, don't talk baby talk. You're in fifth grade now. <laughs> no one is, they're going to make fun of you in middle school if you keep talking that way. They're going to make fun of you in middle school. No, I had through those times. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to take on NPCs. Just no, you're good. Very Someone's got to. Right um, cool. So uh, I think after like the bulk of the meal has been eaten, uh, Malcolm, without even really looking at you, uh, just like finishing off his pot roast and says, so mm, what do you so need? So good, right? Mm. Oh, oh, oh no. why, why can't your wife just do something nice? Oh, why can't no. my knife do something nice? on a regular basis instead of only when she wants something. I was, you know what? I th There wasn't really a reason, but <laughs> now that you bring it up, I was just remembering that this coming Sunday happens to be the day our Lord rolled away the rock. And that's they, why we're going to the Easter egg hunt and we're going to roll away some Easter eggs. Saved our lives. It just goes park. on and on. We have a... For God so loved the world that he gave Already. his only begotten son. And if we could just go one day, one day a year, make a showing. It's, does it have to be Easter? We can go some other day. I promise, I promise Junior that we're, he can, he's going to, he's like determined to get the golden egg this year. Aren't you, Junior? You know, they all, the Sunday school has that, you know, they do the like, Bible eggs. They just have little ro rolled up Bible verses in them. That's... I know. They don't. Some of the kids have allergies and you can't. You, uh, I, I tried to get them to have candy in them that you can't predict which kid is going to have which allergy. So Bible verses are, are hypoallergenic. So. Well, if you can talk Justin and Jessica to going to church with you. Great. I'm taking Junior to the park. And that's final. Well, then. I guess you'll have to go to your gala alone. Would you like to roll? I something? would like to roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it out the big guns. Let's see what happens here. She doesn't like to go. To, he's like a, <laughs> a, a financial person and has yeah. to do stupid financial things and she fucking hates it. Clients and the, the boss, yeah. yeah um, clients and the boss and it looks really good to have the wife there. And, <laughs> um, um, what's the what's the really bad thing that could happen here? Uh, the really bad thing that could happen there is that he is like fine and this is like a last straw and he's like, I'm going to get a hotel. Yeah, and awesome. We, we like separate for a little while. Cool um are you high oh, no. yes yeah oh yeah. you're i like you're, to have a little I, as I was i was yeah. i was cooking and i had some tarps from the, the office and mm -hmm. just to kind of calm me down because otherwise i'll get a little too yeah a little I, I, tarps are probably over the counter at this point right yeah yeah you buy them like the there. like the nicotine patches you can be like okay mm -hmm. they're behind the counter but yeah just to, just to calm me down a little not um, supposed is, to use them one after another, but yeah, got the rashes. Uh, is getting Malcolm to do what you want something that you're good at? No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think that's a part of your job. Um, no, have you read about not. something like this? Uh, Can see. you bring in a Bible <laughs> verse? <laughs> I, I could talk about how women are supposed to submit to their husbands. Yeah, the purpose driven life doesn't say anything about this. I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's one up. Um, yeah. Are you too all... high right now? Maybe a little. Yeah, yeah. I I usually try to keep a keep an even tarp, but I mm. was so nervous putting this all together that I overdid it a little. So I'm a little okay. bit like. Ugh. Um, I feel like this is a situation you've been in before. Mm-hmm. Um, and you are in a familiar environment. Uh, are you hurt or otherwise fucked up? No. Okay. Not yet. Looks like a straight roll then. So Are those? Two dice. So you tick up dice uh, to get those? I, yeah, I ticked up one for Are You High and down for um, uh, one of the other ones. Too high. Yeah, that's not me. How do you get too high with a patch? 
Oh, well, if you, you're not supposed to chain them together. <laughs> oh, They're really yeah. supposed to be like one and once one a day. At a time. Max, and yep. I, I like have had three already. Oh. And don't put on a patch and smoke at the same time. <laughs> that is a <laughs> bad time. <sighs> uh, I got a five, a one, and a three. All right. Where are they going? So I put them in the places, and I'm, I'm trying to remember what. Uh, so a, a five, five or six and the good thing. So a five or six and the good thing will he's like fine. We're all going to Easter Church. Uh, yeah. A five and the six and the bad thing means that he's not walking out, um, and the reality looks like it's going down unless there's a five in it. Okay. Even if there's a five, it, it'll still go down, right? Because it's only tied. Um, go down unless you're above the reality that. number. Um, let's see if it is equal to or lower. Yeah, then it's going down. Oh, okay, it's going down anyway. So I'll put the one in reality. Um, I like the idea that he uh does walk out mm -hmm. and is like, <laughs> um, fine, we'll go, but I'm not sleeping here tonight. Awesome, I love that. And it, the, he oh. goes to he usually goes to this hotel, and I know he usually <laughs> sees people there. And <laughs> Oh no. It's his like regular dumpy hotel he goes to when he's he probably so. expenses it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. So it's like it's probably like a little a little bit fancier than dumpy. Yeah. So I did he'll, yeah. He'll like call one business colleague and ask him a question. He's like, now it's a business trip. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just need to yeah, so I I think it then he's like fine. And like he's skips dessert, whatever the dessert is like fine. We'll go to your Easter, whatever it is. You go to my gala thing, but I'm, uh, what's the, what's the name of it? It's going the, to the uh, Malibu. The Ma I've been, I'm sleeping at the Malibu tonight and I don't know, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Did everybody just visualize the neon sign for the Malibu at once? Yeah. It's got, yeah, it's got the like Red Theft Auto the little, <laughs> palm, palm tree. It's kind of a palm yeah, tree, right? With an animated coconut with, falling. With the, yep. the two frame, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and he says this in front of the kids too. And oh. I, th I think the uh, Justin or is it Justin? Yeah. Uh, Justin and yes. Jessica are don't care if they're not paying attention or they're not registering that they care. Um, <laughs> and Junior looks like he knows something is wrong. He, I don't think he really knows what the Malibu is. I'm sure he's heard him say it before, um, but he's like, he I doesn't think know we're just, fighting. He's, yeah, he's just concentrating on his uh, ice cream right now, I think. Um, and uh, I think, yeah, uh, Malcolm pushes away without eating uh, dessert and walks upstairs and uh, 15 minutes later walks Son downstairs. Son of a bitch, already had a bag pack. <laughs> with a suitcase. And Immediately back with the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a go bag for these situations. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like yeah, it's like partially unpacked. Uh, like okay, I want this shirt and <laughs> but only re only recently got back. Yeah, had time to wash his clothes. Um, how you how do you react to this? Uh, the kids the kids are kind of ignoring you. Husband walked out. Ice I'm cream's melting. Yeah, I'm just pretending that I'm fine and I'm like no. cooing at Junior, where I'm like Junior. Did did you not want chocolate syrup this time? It's a special, <laughs> special, special meal. So you could, you could have chocolate syrup if you want. Sometimes you can get really nice things. Um, and I think when he looks up at you, um, oh, no. you know it's Junior, but you don't recognize his face. <laughs> um, and yeah, then, like, when, when that hits you, you look over at the kids, uh, just Jessica, and they're face down on their uh, on their sheets. But uh, if you, when you like get their attention, they look up, and they are different kids. You don't recognize them at all. Hmm. Do you react to this at all? Uh, I think in my mind, I'm like, oh no. It's happened again. Malcolm's tricked me again. Oh no. I awesome. have to get out of this house. These are Malcolm has tricked me and put me in a different family's house again. I have to get, I have to get out of here without alarming them that I know that they know. So I'm I'm like trying to leave the table. 
<laughs> Love it. Um, cool. Uh, next day at the station, I think, um, <laughs> R- Rupert, uh, what, what's, your, what's your day at the station look like after, you know, nothing really happening? Um, well, I feel like it, um, yeah, you know, afterwards, I feel like I went and talked to the Maybreeze, and they were like, they, they could not confirm or deny whether that was the same sound or not, and then I called the station, and the station was just like, yeah, you've done your due diligence, get out of there. I'm like, we shouldn't investigate? Nah, it's fine, go. I'm like, god damn it, son of a nose, left. Went home, um, and then I'm wondering... If, if, if the scene that just happened with Nicole, mm-hmm. could that be, be the next day after me and Chuck? Yeah, for sure. Because then I'm thinking maybe the next call I get sent out on is that Junior, once he went back to his room, had called into the police station and been like, my mommy and mom's dad acting are fighting. Weird. <laughs> and and my mom's weird. acting weird and she says she doesn't know me. My, my mom just walked out. <laughs> Of the house, yeah. and so did my dad. We're alone in our house right now. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. I, I'm like, and I, I feel like I don't know at this point that it's Miriam. I just, you know, I got a yeah. kid calling. It he has could address. even be something's gone wrong at the house in the absence of the kids. Mm. Maybe there was something else left on the stove uh, that is like not burning, but the, the pan has boiled down and there's smoke. Smoke detectors alarms are going off. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm uh, just looking at the uh, lines and veils list on the front page. Want to make sure that like children in a bad situation like that is cool with everyone. That works. Yeah. What is veil in this context, by the way? Uh, a veil basically means that it exists in the world, but we're not going to see it on screen. So cool. uh, like we're not going to have any sexual assault at all in the world, period. Um, mm-hmm. But like there is torture and someone might get tortured, but we're not going to see it. Okay. Thank I, you. you might hear so and so got tortured in the shack yeah. out back. Yeah. <laughs> no. There are no people uh, in the shack. <laughs> <laughs> By torture, I mean he was forced to repair windmills. Well, there we go. Uh, I, I had to hang out with Chuck. Yeah, right, oh. Torture. <laughs> A real torture. So yeah, I feel like. Yes, we're taking Chuck to the burn unit. <laughs> Story. Oh. Oh, uh, that's a mail. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I come into the station, and hadn't been going on. I've been filling out the paperwork for the thing the day before, and they're like, "Hey, we got another call for you, Frank." Uh, little, little kids, uh, <laughs> some kids kid, burned their dinner. <laughs> the kid says there's some smoke in the house, and that mom and dad both left them. Yeah, you gotta check it out. I'm like, isn't that a job for either like the fire, fire department, department or child <laughs> protection <laughs> services? Or, and they're like, just go check it out. It's a, consider it like a, a mental health call or whatever. Whatever you need to file it under. Tick the right boxes. I don't care. Yeah. My son of a bitch. All right. Uh, Miriam, did you take the car or did you like go for a long walk? I just started walking. Oh, yeah. wow. So I think, Rupert, when you get to the house, you recognize Miriam's car. Oh, I think you've been noise gated. Yeah. Oh, I turned my noise gate off. So I don't know what's going oh. on. I don't have one anymore. Well, it wasn't even a noise gate, but that's just fine. Anyway, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, hold on, let me see if. Where's my. I think there was like a noise that was overpowering. It's just... weird. It's weird. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I think I get Drugs. There. Drugs. <laughs> Probably. I, I'm trying to figure. I don't think I would know for sure. I don't think I would. I, her car, I'd be like, oh, mm-hmm. I kind of. I think that's the Kate Mary. Anyway. Familiar. But anyway. <laughs> Walk up, Meg. You know, tuk, 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 tuk. Uh, Officer Frank from the police. Uh, uh, I think uh, Jessica opens the door, and um, you know she's uh, yes. 16, 17. Is that right? Yeah, uh, seventeen or so. Um, kind of got like long blonde hair in a in a braid. Um, you know whatever the kids are wearing these days in twenty forty one. Probably pretty much the same. Probably uh, from the nineties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like twenty twenty uh, like, wear. This is this is like COVID stuff. So, oh, yeah. We're, we're all just wearing sweatpants and, and masks. <laughs> yeah, she's just wearing sweatpants. 
Oh my god, she is wearing a mask. That's great. She's got. Uh, oh, that's amazing. And, and the mask has to have holes in it. Like it is yep. clearly decorative, and yep. not understanding the point of the original. Um, and like she. Mask. Are, are you holding up your badge like you always yeah, yeah, yeah. do? Shade uh, mail mask. Officer yeah. Frank yeah. From, the, from PD, we got a, a call that there's a problem here. Um, I didn't. I didn't call you, Justin. Did you call the cops? <laughs> No, my, my dumb brother didn't call you. What's well, I don't know. There was a call that there was some smoke in the kitchen and that your parents had left you all alone here. Yeah, dad walked out again and then mom like got all weird and left. And are, so, are, are, and are like you, she left you, the stove on and then it was all smoky. And so, like, Justin was not doing anything. I think he was still playing his stupid game. So I like had to go in there and get it myself. I forgot where the fire extinguisher is. Mom, I don't think she ever checks. Like, they taught, like, in safety class, they said, always make sure you check your fire extinguisher twice a year. And I'm pretty sure yeah. mom doesn't do that. And I know dad doesn't because he doesn't care. So I don't know if it's expired or what, but, like, I just put a lid on it and okay. the smoke went away. I turned on the fan underneath the microwave, and that's, that's like, really weak. I think it just blows it back into the kitchen. So, like, uh, well, I don't know. There's still many, a lot of smoke in there. And I opened the window. Can what? Ask you a How many of you were here? Just me. Uh, you're the only one home right now? Yeah. But somebody else called the police from here? I don't understand. Well, I, you're the only... There's no one else in this residence right now. Are there any... Uh, just me and my dumb brother. Okay, you're, you've got one brother? Yeah. Justin. And, and, He's playing the game, you know the you know the dumb one like the ads have like the guy with the axe and he's like ah, but it's how like nothing Justin? like the ads. They have right. the how, how, Justin's how like is... Justin's eighteen maybe. Yeah. So yeah. just to, out of game clarification, she's not mentioning her younger brother. No. Okay. <laughs> or you're going. And how how old are you, ma'am? I'm seventeen, like way too okay. young for you. No. <laughs> I was just making sure that they're everyone. You're all old enough to take care. Of yeah, I don't know. You just like have a lonely vibe. Sorry. Okay. But you have, you, have, <laughs> you have to understand that someone called from this house. Yeah, well, I don't know who you are. Like, I'm here by myself. Like, I don't know if you're really a cop or if you got that at the Halloween store or whatever. Like, they, they still open spirit stores everywhere, and it's like end of summer, but still, yeah, every gas station that closes is just like spirit Halloween. So I don't know if you're like a cop or like one of my stupid friends like angie called like a cop stripper for me or something like stupid oh, bitch I am, whatever i'm not a stripper i am a cop. yeah and like my little brother's home like why would you be why would you call a stripper when someone's little brother is okay, home wait, wait. so you just mentioned an older brother you also have a little brother no i just have malcolm he's my little brother he's like 10 i don't think he even knows how to use a phone you just mentioned just in your older brother <laughs> i don't know i was talking about angie my dumb friend the bitch who calls strippers on people Bam, you know how you, like dumb guys you... used to Ben, uh, have you had any drugs or alcohol tonight, ma'am? I'm 17. The question you just, is, <laughs> that period. You just seem to be having some memory problems, and uh, I'm concerned for your health because you've mentioned two separate brothers, and and then yeah, both my brothers. You. So you do have two brothers. Yeah, Malcolm and Justin, and they're both idiots. I mean, one's 10, so of course he's an idiot. One's 10. Okay, where's the 10-year-old right now? I don't know. I'm not his mom. Okay, well, ma'am, do you mind? Can I, by chance, come in and see if he's okay? I don't know. I was watching this uh, video about some guy saying that you can't let cops in your house without a warrant or something, but then they still push in, and you're like, I don't know. I can't oh, resist ma arrest or else they're going to shoot me or something. So come on in, Chuck? I guess. Is it Chuck on the public access channel saying, <laughs> yeah, let probably. me give you a little bit of advice about which police... I mean, I'm not going to let I'm not gonna let a strange guy in the house when I'm all here all by myself. It's, I mean, okay. even if you were a cop. Ask him if he's a cop. <laughs> but you, your two brothers are home. So, man, can what, I... What brothers... <laughs> uh, I, I need to know if I can come in the house. You have every right to say no if you wish. Yeah, Dad, of course you can come in the house. It's your house. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know where Mom is? She just, like, took off. No, I. that's why I need to check on your brothers to make sure. Are you going to make okay. us go to church? I am Cause... not going to make you go to church. <sighs> Fuck, thanks. I'm sorry, Dad. I mean, you said you were going to 
take us to church with mom because mom threw another fit or she was going to cry or something. I don't know. So I don't know. I don't know if she wants you to be here okay, when well, she gets I'm, back. I'm going to try to find your brother real quick. Um, okay. You said uh, Ma Mal Malcolm? Yeah, call him Junior. Everyone calls him Junior. Yeah, junior. You hear Junior? <laughs> uh, and you, you hear a noise at the top of the stairs? Sounds like a, something, a little kid bumbling around. Oh, okay. Sounds like a windmill getting referred to. <laughs> <It's a windmill. laughs> I'll walk that direction back. Uh, junior, are you up there? I'm uh, Officer Frank. Did you call Did you call for an officer, Junior? Uh, and the noise stops. I'm here oh, to help no. you, Junior. I saw the creep upstairs. Do, do you need help, Junior? Are you okay? Uh, and there's a you can see like there's a you know kids bedroom uh clearly two teenagers bedroom that uh, i think they share probably oh, um yeah they and uh, and like the master bedroom you can kind of see the master bedroom there's a uh there's like a uh like an old style plug in the wall phone um yeah. that actually has its receiver off but you don't see anyone there hello junior peer in the rooms looking for junior no one's there. Oh, no. Okay, Junior, if you're... I'm... God damn it, I gotta search. I gotta search now. This has become a possible child endangerment. I forgot to look for the kid, and I start, I, I'll start. i start more thoroughly searching the mm -hmm. rooms. Um, there's no one in the house. God damn it. And then I'll head back downstairs. Anybody downstairs still? And then... No. Uh, unless Miriam wants to come home. Uh, I think I'm still wandering. But I, okay. if it makes it more fun, I'm happy to come home. Yeah. Uh, well, this sounds um, like you're in a weird situation. It does sound like I'm in a very weird situation. <laughs> uh, what's, what's a bad thing that could happen here? Um, the bad thing that could happen here is that the daughter reemerges from wherever she was hiding and screaming about the intruder in the house. Nice. I like that a lot. Um, cool. Uh, are you high? I am definitely high. Always. On nice. <laughs> um, GG's. Uh, oh, is, yeah. is this something that you're good at? Again, I feel like it is. Because right? I'm, okay. I'm good at my job. And, this is um, and it sounds like it's part of your job. Yeah. Um, have, you, have you read about something like this? I mean, I feel like I have, but not in any way that would uh, yeah. give me a benefit here, I think. Um, are you too high? Have you had a lot of GGs, officer? You know, let's go with, yeah, just because it's, you know, okay. early. A lot, lot of GGs. And, and it's yesterday sucked. And uh, Did you sleep last night? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, is this unlike anything you've ever seen before? I don't feel like I would feel like that at this point. At this point, I'm just like, it's a little weird, but I don't think okay. it's odd. Yeah, it's uh, odd, but nothing like But you that. are in an unfamiliar environment. That is true. Uh, are you hurt or otherwise fucked up? I am not. All right. Uh, roll three dice and uh, take one up one. Okay, today we get... Do the dice Oh, room. boy. A two, a two. A <laughs> wow. So now we get a three, a two, and a six, I guess, because what else am I going to do with that? Yeah. Um, um, so if you tick the reality to die now, down now, uh, you will be the GM. <laughs> <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> okay, I got to think about this. So either, so what, what am I trying to do that would succeed if I went that way? I think you find everyone if that works. Yeah, okay, so either I find everybody or... I don't get a screaming teenager screaming about an intruder. Yeah. Or reality doesn't go down. So we three choices. Yeah. Can you find everybody and still get screamed at as an intruder? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It just yeah, took, sure takes me a second to catch up. <laughs> yeah. So either I find everyone and get screamed at as an intruder, or I don't find everyone but don't get screamed at as an intruder, or reality does not. And Keith becomes GM. Um, I. 
Oh man, it's a tough choice. I know. <laughs> and we can end up like the the reality die can go down to two, right? And then yeah, back and then up come to back three, up. and then it hot potatoes to someone else. Yep. All right, well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to roll. It's just it. when it hits three that it changes. Yeah. On a one to two, I accomplished my task. On a three to four, <laughs> I did not get yelled at. And yes. on a five to six, reality stays. Six. So reality stays. Okay. Oh, no. I'm still legit. I'm still in never, charge. Never <laughs> let Mark not be GM. Oh, no. Um, cool. So uh, I think what happens is, let me check the side effects of Juju's here. Um, yeah, cool. Nothing like that. Uh, I think what happens is cavities. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're like standing in the middle of like the dining room. The table's still like there's still dirty dishes and melted ice cream and stuff there. And you're and um, like it's not that like you look away and look back. But like almost just like you're like looking at the table, just being like, there's gotta be a reason for this. Uh, and then like the next instant, uh, there's a teenage girl like standing just like on the other side of the table with a with a steak knife, just like screaming <laughs> like get out of here. I don't know who you are. You're just why are you just standing there? Just fuck fucker, you fucker. Um and uh it, it, when you like, you hear a noise coming out of the kitchen, and there's a slightly older uh, boy with a baseball bat, um, and he's <laughs> like, "Junior, call the cops!" Uh, I, I, will, I will make my way to the door. I'm like, I, I bet I am the cops. He already called the cops. That's why I'm here. And, and I think Jessica like throws a dish of ice cream at you. Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ, crazy ass family. <laughs> I think I'll just kind of bolt out the door at this point. Because, you know, thinking, well, that's the easiest way to de escalate this situation. And then regroup outside and figure out what the fuck to do next. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> awesome. Uh, Chuck, how's your project going? Oh, geez. Um, let's see. I, I, I would like it to be going well. Um, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think we're down in the cellar again, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and he's just wiring up a few final things. Um, flips a switch and the noise that we're familiar with starts again. <laughs> and I is think, it from like is it from like metal scraping its metal or is it something else calling it? I think it's a transmission. And he starts oh, okay. like turning a tuning knob and it, just, it gets quieter and then nice. starts changing in 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 nature at that point nice. um yeah and uh, i don't know i i kind of want it to be like a number station or something when it finally comes through or um i don't know maybe not that uh let's see no i think so i think it's a number station when it finally okay. comes in cool. into um clarity and so he just pulls out a notepad and starts writing out digits on it um, as they're being spoken. Uh, yeah, so that's how the project is going right now. Um, I think the room is really hot. I think the machine just spews mm. out heat at way too high, way more than it should be. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, great. Um, you hear uh, someone upstairs knocking on the front door, like very insistently. Um, Okay, I, I think, yeah, I think he pulls a big switch that shuts the thing down um, <clears throat> and kind of glances around the room and picks up an old, like, I don't know, I, I want to say like a, a third size machete or something, something that you would use to just yeah. weeds or something like that and tucks it in the back of his belt. <laughs> as he and then goes up the stairs out of the cellar <laughs> cool. uh, uh what, what what does the front door look like uh i think phew, i think the house actually it's a house and it's not actually that bad it's just mm -hmm. really badly kept up ironically um so i think this it's like the front door is like a builder grade door that came with the house when it was first thrown up um 
and it's very weather beaten at this point. Um, and like, it's hard to get it open and shut because of the foundation settling. Um, and there's probably like a shadow where the house number was, mm -hmm. but has since fallen off. Um, uh, is there is there a peephole or like frosted windows or? Oh, well, um, if we, I, let's see. In my head, there's maybe some windows along the side that are frosted that you could kind of see shapes through. Um, and if we want, um, yeah, we can have him go up into the house so he can be looking out the door instead of out through the cellar. Oh yeah, cool. Um, um, on, the, on the porch are two uh, men who are uh, dressed like uh, your friend Frank. Uh, they're clearly cops. Um, <laughs> one of them is trying to look in the um, in the window beside the door, um, and the other one's just pounding on the door, going, "Mr. Garn, we have a warrant. Please open up." Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, they don't let me go back out with a warrant. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they I, always try to get you to do that first part. <laughs> For the real action, don't frink it. Oh God, I think, I think Chuck is gonna try and make a break for it. Nice. I don't think there's a strong. I think he's he's just built up this fantasy in his head and practiced in his head how he's gonna be prepared for this when it finally comes. Awesome. Uh, this is definitely a risky situation. Oh, oh, definitely has a what, go bag. Like what do we think sure. the bad thing is? Um. I think Chuck gets shot is the bad thing. Shot and uh, dies. That's, that's what I was thinking. Um, cool. Are you high right now? Um, I don't think so. I think right now he's he's so focused on the work that he's doing. Yeah. That he, can't... he doesn't want to relax too much. Yeah. He's forgotten like... to take a static. Yeah. He's yeah. A um, state. Well, the static is, is for... Is we're coming down after, yeah. Well, uh, it's 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 the more expensive thing in my head that it's all right. Usually, just like uh, drinky pills, yeah. Yeah. Um, is running from the cops something that you are good at? I don't think so. <laughs> in his mind, at, yes. But, but in reality, <laughs> um, it doesn't sound like running from the cops is part of your job. No, no. <laughs> uh, have you read about something, a situation like this? Extensively. Okay, yeah, that's that's like, definitely one. That's, that's where the fantasies reading. came from. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're not high. Are you not high enough to handle this? Or maybe I am not wrong? high enough to handle this. Yeah, okay. He has nothing Found to take the edge off of it. Uh, is this unlike anything you've ever seen before? I think he's. I think he's seen videos of this a lot, yeah. and I think this has happened among to people he's known. Yeah, yeah I don't think it's yeah, entirely you... outside of his experience. You're in a familiar environment. Uh, are you hurt? Yeah. No, no, I don't think so. Okay, Not yet. Cool. That's an even roll then. All right, I'll roll three d6s. Rolling a five, a four, and a one. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and that's, and I don't get any modifiers? Nope. Okay, okay. Oh, Ooh. wow. The only thing that will save you from GMN is that five. That five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll throw myself on the GM grenade. Never. Uh, All right. Never GM. And so, Mark, what's happening to you is, <laughs> that, um, and I'll put the five on. He succeeds in getting away, and then the one on. He also gets shot. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. So you get where 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 are you getting shot? Oh man! Hey, Peter's a GM now, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> After the scene, well, yeah. Oh, right, right. Hey, Mark, we're, yeah, we'll, we'll just resolve it. <laughs> oh man. Um. Oh yeah, I could use a breakout. Yeah. I, I feel like he gets shot in the head. Oh, and okay, cool. We, yeah. And that's just this. Something happens after that. Yeah. So you're 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 grazed or something probably. Um, cool. cool. And then you get away. Uh, the cops chase you, but. You get away. Hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's take a, a break. Uh, <laughs> On that note. Uh, so, so we can either take a break uh, or we can call it for the night and start a fresh next time. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello, Fortunato. What's up, Junior? <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs>
He's very patient. Uh, um, so what do you feel like? Do, I'm happy to do either. I just need to take a, a pee break and put yeah. the chickens to bed. Oof. For more, but whatever. Yeah, I'm good to go. To so yeah, I could do a little bit more. Why don't we take okay. a break and then do like a couple more scenes after that? Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Cool. Uh, pee break. cool. See you in like five or ten-ish. Cool. Yeah. I'm Chuck. <laughs> Welcome back to the Rupert Frink stream. 
Cop Talk with Rupert Frank. This podcast. No, it's not. Who's Chuck now? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is working out really well. I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to become GM. I was like, oh, that'd be a fun twist. I was like, I will let fate decide. Because that's fun. <laughs> uh, so we're down to three now, it looks like. Uh, yeah, I think this is where it starts going like, ooh, everything's kind of in the middle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, I, was, I was worried about like design wise, a couple things like, do those questions work? Like, is, is everyone going to just like get plus five or minus five every time? Um, it's worked out really interestingly, I think. Uh, and I was worried that the good and bad numbers were too high. Like, they weren't going to be fun to do. But like, so far, the choices have been really, really interesting. So I'm happy with the way that worked. My it's not a came back. When I was reading it, it definitely felt like it was geared to be a little bit not against the players in the right words it's not against the players but like mm -hmm. that that uh, it would be hard to get bonuses because like there's there's more there's more questions that will take your die down yeah than would get yeah your die up yeah i yeah. kind of yeah. like the five six thing yeah and you could definitely like mid max and be like yes i'm high i'm good at this this is my yeah. job <laughs> like all the time I no of course i'm not too I, I'm good at and i always job. take just enough drugs <laughs> yeah, exactly. down and even keel all the time <laughs> says someone who has never done drugs <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or does them yeah. a lot either never no. or always no middle ground that, you know, 10 minute window in there buddy <laughs> for me it was like in that last scene where i was just like yeah, it was, it was the opposite. I was like, I mean, I, I, I felt like in one way, I was like, he probably wouldn't be too high. But I was like, but that seems like a more fun choice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And it makes sense story wise. Like, oh, yeah, like this thing, this this uh, Chuck thing is driving you nuts and you've been up all night trying yeah, to figure yeah. shit out or whatever. Uh, OK. <laughs> cool. So there, there is a page here uh, with, ah. you, um, with some advice. Wait, where I'm trying to find the document. Hold on. <laughs> no more rules. <laughs> chaos, chaos reigns. Just drugs. <laughs> drugs and, drugs and med mega churches. Do I have PD? Oh, I forgot the themes. We've been doing them though, I guess. Oh yeah. Quick reference rules. Okay, here we are. When the you are GM, it's kind of easy since drugs are like a basic ingredient in the game. 
Yeah, this, this just makes you like when it hits five, it's like, okay, now we're gonna like make the drugs be a thing instead of just like, oh, everyone's kind of fucked up all the time, right. or like everyone's on mood stabilizing drugs all the time or something. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was just, I was just talking to Nicole about the GM role for this game specifically. I'm like, it's kind of like it's kind of like directing Maestro. You're just oh, like, <laughs> like, just like set, set up a scene and then be like, okay, cool. Here's your score. This is what happens. What's the drug that they could be on? <laughs> yeah. uh, so, yep, it's all yours. Okay, okay. Much earlier when somebody said Jalcom, I was like, that sounds like a drug name. There's definitely a Jalcom. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, um, Miriam, let's say last we saw you, you were walking off out of the house, right? And going on a journey somewhere. Yeah, I imagine that usually when this happens, I am convinced that I can go find my correct house. So I'm currently trying doors um, to oh, see. Wow. Some of them are locked to me. Sometimes there's open doors and I just go in houses. Hmm. Um, okay, so let's say that this is maybe the the fifth house that you've tried and yeah. um, and the door is unlocked. <laughs> and then let's float the question of who do you find there? Um, oh, there is um, the, uh, it's Clarice Tannenbaum and she is another member of the church. Clarice Tannenbaum. She's another one of the Bible study read uh, leaders and She's just got like a perfect life. Okay, and there's something a little bit off about Clarice that you always noticed. Um, what do you think that might be? Um, I always notice that she like takes, she seems to be on a delay. Like she always takes a little bit, little while to answer things. Like her, everything seems totally fucking in order, except there's this like kind of annoying thing about her that should be like, oh, like yeah. she, like she, it's like she hears you a little bit late. And I think that's what that's what you walk in on is Clarice is folding napkins very neatly and putting them in a stack, and you walk in and she turns and is just watching you for a good ten seconds while folding more napkins and setting them aside. Yeah, and, I'm and heading up to the like, bathroom to find some drugs. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. And then it's just um, Miriam. What you nearly scared me half to death. <laughs> Um, she finishes folding one more napkin, holds her hands together, and then there's a, another pause. And, How are you, honey? <laughs> and I didn't recognize my family, but I do recognize her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh! Surpri surprise! <laughs> I, um, well, um, Cl hi, Clarice. Um, I know this is random, super random, but... And I, I think Clarice cuts in responding to an earlier part of the conversation and says, oh, honey, you look a fright tonight. Let's get you some dinner. <laughs> and like oh. ushers starts trundling you towards the kitchen as you're delivering. Yeah, Miriam was about to make up a lie about like how this was some family tradition they had and then was like, Oh, this is fine. Okay, let's just do this. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so great. So, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're always such a a good Samaritan. Oh, well, that's it's like the story goes, and and she just sort of dithers off, like muttering to herself. <laughs> doesn't she goes, really know it. Doesn't really know it at all. Um, and she, you're you're in yeah, what what kind of kitchen does uh does Clarice have, do you think? She's got like a fully um, beautiful tile backsplash. Like, oh no! It's like a very cozy kitchen. Mm. Like white vinyl countertops and like forest green tile backsplash. Mm -hmm. um, like, would look gaudy on any other house, but for her, it's like classy and understated. And she, let's say, she goes to a fridge that looks that looks a little like it, it's the same color as a like 1970s appliance, but it's clearly modern or 
1970s. Let's chart it forward to yeah, like know, a retro retro fridge. retro to today. <laughs> Um, but clearly modern conveniences. Ah, oh, you've got one of those that has like the, it doesn't even have the screen. Oh, that's so <laughs> retro. And she's laying a small single serving Tupperware bin of, of casserole, um, puts it in a heater, leaps it, <laughs> sets it down for you. Um, and yeah, and, and then put, and then like it suddenly occurred to her, it's like, what what happened to you, honey? <laughs> oh, I don't want to burden you. You you and um you and Idris just <laughs> seem to have such a good relationship. And I'm I hate I always hate unloading it on people that like <sighs> I just worry about Malcolm's faith. To me. Oh, Jesus. you're not a burden, honey. To our family. No burden at all. This is no burden at all. You, you just you just eat up that casserole. We've got too much of it already. Mm, it's very unique. Just kind of, you, you must give me this recipe. There's some kind of spice that I don't think I usually use in mine. I don't use any spices in mine. <laughs> What's that? What's wrong with his face? Who? What's this? Oh, um, I was having her respond belatedly to oh. something oh. wrong with Melvin. Oh, his face. Still lagging. His face. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I thought you said face. Oh, his face. I said face. I misheard <laughs> you. Oh, his face. Ah, uh, I you said face, that, but there have yeah, been weird things clear. with his face lately, too. <laughs> Face, yeah, ah, faces. Sometimes, I don't know if you, I used to be really good, Larry <laughs> said, trusting faces. I used to know looking at someone's face, if they, if their insides match their outsides, as we say in, in Sunday school, but. And Clarice is rummaging through her sheet at this point, looking through recipe files. <laughs> I just don't know if I'm any good judge of character anymore. I think I get bamboozled and swindled and I always think everybody's better than they actually are. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah, Clarice at this point, yeah, she's set the sheet in front of you and has gone to rummage over in another room uh, and comes back with a little pillow <laughs> with a nice little needlepoint, like saying embroidered into it. And um, this one says, one time or another, every mask slips. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should have this. <laughs> oh. And just awkward silence after that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and, oh yeah, and I think at this point, Clarice, yeah, she's gonna say, I think you should stay here for a while. And she goes and closes the door to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be nice and safe. She picks up the, the Tupperware and takes it towards the, the sink. <laughs> Miriam like opens her mouth to be like, no, I'll be going, but then like catches the threatening vibe <laughs> and is like, yeah, it'll be like a staycation. Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll set up the guest room for you just as long as you need. <laughs> yeah, that um, sounds good. Um, <laughs> I, I'm trying to figure out if Miriam wants to do any snooping because Clarice is also like a, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. a church person and there's always like Game of Thrones shit. <laughs> um, I would recommend this. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm, uh, although I, she handed me the recipe. I handed, and you, I'm gonna, the sheet. I handed you her oh, sheet. Oh, the sheet. Yeah, so her personal yeah. device. Oh, her sheet. Oh, so I have her, per oh, yes, oh, good. Yeah, so I'm okay. gonna like, uh, she has it unlocked, so I'm 
<laughs> yep. Min minimizing the recipe screen and <laughs> sure. just seeing and, if there are any like juicy texts or. Best and let's see, is there a really bad thing that could happen as an outcome to yeah, this? Yeah, the really <laughs> bad thing that could happen is I could find out that she's been texting Malcolm. Yeah. And, and is going to meet him at the Malibu later. At the Malibu. Nice. And then what would be a really good outcome out of this? A really good outcome is that I find out she's been, um, I because I'm really good at doing math in my head, I pull up an Excel spreadsheet that she, ah. she is our treasurer for our um, Lady Lionhearts Club. Uh -huh. And... <laughs> uh, I, I pull up the spreadsheet and I can quickly see that she's been pocketing some funds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, wait, uh, I don't like how good I am at coming up with quick church quick intrigue church situations. <laughs> weird. Weird. Um, let's see. Uh, oh. Let's get you some, some questions here. Are you high? Um, yes. Yes. Okay. Always. Is, is this something that you're good at snooping through someone's personal doing, device doing the math this yeah. the math i'm good at yeah, yeah. okay the is snooping it, maybe not as good is it part of your job no okay have you read about something like this That's not, i don't think so yeah, yeah or yeah maybe in like a steamy romance not no only the bad thing yeah, no, oh, okay, I don't yeah. think I can make that make sense. <laughs> uh, are you too high or not high enough? Um, I think I've come down from the like hallucination high. So I think uh -huh. I'm actually like the the level I wanted to be originally. <laughs> so I've been zone. like, ah! Um, now it's like back to the sweet. And I think she kind of also jarred me out of some of the high yeah. with the like threatening <laughs> aura. Was cool. Um, yeah. is this unlike anything you've ever seen before? Yes, this needlepoint. <laughs> this yeah. needlepoint pillow. Uh, are you in an unfamiliar environment? Um, that's a question. Uh, I think maybe. Uh, I think I've been yeah, over here probably, before. Probably yeah, you've probably been yeah. here. Okay. I've probably been here invited and uninvited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then are you hurt or otherwise fucked up? Oh. No, no. I think so. So you got a plus one on your three dice. Sweet. <laughs> got a five, a five, one, a and one a five. And a five. Oh, <laughs> nice. All right. Oh, man. Uh, so either I can have good thing and not a bad thing and lose some reality or... Yeah, your plus one doesn't really change yeah. anything. Because yeah. reality is at, at uh, three, three. So it's Plus either one, going up or down. Two. Well, a question: Can you can the reality die go up at three, or not until you get to two? Uh, not until you get to two. Oh, okay. So it has you can't to go raise down. it at all. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, but but it won't go down if she plays over a three. Yes, that's right. So it'll just stay mm -hmm. where it is. Yeah. Okay, so it wouldn't move. Yeah, so if one of those fives goes in the reality box, no uh, alien computer. I don't get then, to be G. Then, <laughs> oh, yeah. stuck with me for GMing for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I won't do it randomly then, since I know that that won't really make much of a difference. So, good thing happens, bad thing doesn't happen. Okay. Reality stays where it is. The reality goes down. Oh, reality oh. goes down. <laughs> right. I got a five, a one, and a five. So you're putting yeah, the okay, so that thing doesn't line. happen. Oh, yeah, I, I catch up. All on. right. Okay. Well, reality goes down awesome. if you want it to. So, um, so, yeah, so the good thing happens that um, you, discover, you discover... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. I do want the bad thing to happen. Yeah, let's okay. do reality. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's just too fun. Good thing. Thank God, yeah. Good thing, <laughs> bad thing, keep reality. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make it fun. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so yeah, you find all Sorry, of the Peter. details about the embezzlement and the details about the affair. Because <laughs> like, um, a, a text popped up while I was wow. looking wow. at I was like, looking at the Excel doing the math and it was like, whoop. Wait, it was like a picture of him, like waiting I'd like, for you. I like <laughs> think it's a, it was an explicit picture and you mm -hmm. recognize it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, I know that dick. <laughs> and so yeah i think clarice um 
Clarice pops back into the room after another departure with her, with like a jacket on and her car keys in hand. And yeah, I was like, stay at her house. I'm so sorry to immediately do this, but I got to run and run an errand at the craft store for an hour. So mm. you just settle here. <laughs> The really open lake customer. Oh, ah, uh, wow. That's too kind of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think with that, um, uh, yeah, and I think Clarice just says, and you just think on that pillow, hon, <laughs> and <laughs> goes out the front door <laughs> and off to her assignation. <laughs> it does bring a good question. I, was this earlier in the day? Was this like afternoonish or morning? I, yeah, we can flash it's back like after, and forth, I think. Yeah. After dinner, right? Oh, uh, that's where it was in my head. Um, oh, okay. yeah. Because I thought I was doing it like as my first call the next day at the station. When it's yeah, we, we can have scenes out of Whatever, order, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, no, it doesn't matter. Just as long yeah. as time. As long uh, as we know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't know. Uh, why don't we make that? Shift. Why don't we kick that off as the start of Rupert's next scene? Um, I'm thinking. You're you're filing your reports and you're arguing with your sergeant or your higher up about discrepancies in the report. Um, like uh, I'm imagining you getting something like uh, Rupert, you it says nine a.m. here and seven a.m. on page two, um, and then I, normally I wouldn't be a stick. <laughs> Look, we're friends. Normally I wouldn't be a stickler about this, but we got some call later that night saying that. You'd snuck in, that you were creeping around their house. Oh. That was because I got permission to enter the residence. Oh, yeah, yeah. My daughter was clearly somehow mentally altered or unstable. Okay. And after giving me permission into residence, Vin flipped out and thought I was an intruder. But I uh -oh. did get explicit permission twice. Do cops have uh, cameras nowadays? Oh, yeah. I would say yes. I want it to be yes. Very um, glitchy cameras. <laughs> and and you can like, review, you can review the body cam footage. And see oh, that, of course. What was I thinking? Everything was done by protocol. Um, and they have a system. Uh, let's say that they have a room for reviewing body cam footage. Nice. And they have an AI system that will let you scrub to important moments. Hmm. Like it'll just hyperspeed through the boring part and then stop on some confrontation or something like that. Um, oh, what does this look like? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I also, yeah, everyone. I was thinking while we were on break that like, in reality, they definitely would, I, I would tell you whose residence it was, but I think that's just another way they fuck with me. Mm. When I was like, okay, who's, who's residence? And they're like, oh, we don't have any. I'm like, you don't have a name for the address I'm going to. Not. Nah, not no name and system. I'm just like motherfuckers. Oh yeah. So yeah. Does anyone have ideas for what the video screen looks like or what the room looks like for viewing all this stuff? I mean, I it, I guess like the the two obvious options are like they were they were there acting normal all the time and he was just being weird. Oh or, no, sorry, I wasn't. Oh yeah, yeah. That's over oh, the video stuff. For I'm, the room I'm itself. imagining one of those dress. Oh oh yeah yeah yeah. Games. You know how you like sit in the game, like oh, the it's Star got the Wars big... or the Jurassic Park game, and it like comes in, like, it looks like a flight simulator. It, like blows air at you and shakes around. <laughs> you get like, uh, it's, it is it is like almost a 360 cam, but it's like, not, it's eerily not quite there. And so you can kind of get the like peripheral vision in front of you and it like oh, tries to do smells. It's like a little fisheye camera that does, haptics. yeah. It's it haptics, has but it's sensory body cam, unnerving. So that, you know. Yeah, There's and I think smells and stuff they're recording. Yeah, I think it is showing stuff joysticks. in three dimensions, but it's distorted like a fisheye distortion and like yeah, it's got the anamorphic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so that's that's kind of the 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 style of display that you're sitting down to. Uh, I'm yeah. Um, I'll say that there is a label with a time code floating in space, and then uh, a location like an address. And then there's a name below it, but it's weirdly like glitching. <laughs> um, it is an M symbol, 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 static. Uh, 
Yeah, and and I, th- I remember I see it. And I remember, and I think, oh, oh wow, maybe they actually couldn't get a name on this address, and they weren't just fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, Mark, what were you saying were the two options for how it plays out? So so either like they were there the whole time and he was just not seeing what was happening or they were like reality was flashing in and out um, or the camera like cannot comprehend what happened and there's <laughs> showing something else. I, there's, I'm sure there are many more possibilities. Yeah, just <laughs> oh, the man. ceiling, we're ceiling and like muffled <laughs> Like some um, of this. The body game is Frank <laughs> at a rib joint eating dinner. What? Oh, is- yeah, yeah, or something totally different. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I think uh, let's say that the camera starts out with just random rib joint or something like that, and it's like, oh, this has been glitching. Forward, or it's voice command. So forward, 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 double forward, and it's like zipping through the day. I mean, do you need me here for this, or can you just review this while I? And then- <laughs> Okay, here we go. And then it zips into the, suddenly it zips and zooms a little bit on the conversation with, um, with Jessica. Jessica. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so she's saying that the young child called it in, right? And you came down there and now you're talking, right? Oh, can't hear you. Sorry. At first, she said there was only an older brother, but then later on, she said there was only a younger brother, and then later on, she said she had two brothers. So she right. She says she just has a younger brother, which is what's on file. Just one younger brother who called it in. Let's keep watching here. Right, keep watching, and she'll talk about the older brother. What older brother? I don't. I don't know. She's. She was very incoherent in her responses. Oh, and now she's talking about Justin. Got it. But if Justin's here and then she's there, then who called it in? <laughs> the supposed younger brother, Junior, who I personally never saw, <laughs> and though I searched for him. He's like thumbing through papers. Uh, there's just the one kid. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I was told. I cannot, I don't know who called. And I just responded to the call. And yeah, I think at this point, it, the, the camera zips forward to the knife moment. Um, suddenly the sergeant doesn't have any papers at all. And there are two or three more guys behind, <laughs> like just outside <laughs> the device. Um, and he just kind of looks somber and is like, wow, oh, it happened just like she said. All right. Look, we're just going to keep you in one of the holding cells for a little bit. Um, what, just what, until we can get some more answers as to why why you broke in like this. I was a, they called the, they called for a cop. You <laughs> dispatched me to the house. And I think at this point, the other guys come in to kind of lay hands on you. Um, I think this is where the name finally unglitches. And you see for a moment, Miriam Kibble, or Kibble Residence, and then parenthesis, Malcolm and Miriam. Oh, God, they have alliterative names. <laughs> just, that just hit me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that with my partner, but yeah. Um, That's why Rupert and I will never work out. <laughs> um. Ah, but you don't know my first name. Oh, no. Somebody goes by his middle name. (laughs) Rupert, Rupert, Frank. (laughs) (laughs) Duper, Um, Rupert. (laughs) Anyway. uh, Rupert, Rupert. Thank thank you for countenancing that weird little game. (laughs) Yeah, love it. Obvious game I was playing. Um, Yeah, and I think the the last thing that your sergeant does is like, uh, I mean... Even after everything, I really believed in you, Frank. (laughs) (laughs) And then just leaves the room, leaves you in the room with the the three three cops that you don't recognize. (laughs) And we can end that there if you'd like to interact further or see what you can get away with in the... (laughs) I had an idea, but I don't know how to tie it into that. 
Oh, no, go ahead. <laughs> no, I'll... no, 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 I'm just... No bad ideas, Barbara. Well, because I, I, was, I was thinking... I still don't know how this would play with the oh, situation I'm in now. I was thinking that my phone rings and it's Chuck, who doesn't know yeah. who else to call. Yeah, that's oh, what I was yeah. thinking too. Um, uh, we we can sl sort of slide into the... That's what I'm thinking the next yeah. scene is. Uh, so yeah, let's fade down on that. We will hold. We will roll with that idea if we're willing to do another scene. Um, mm -hmm. Chuck, w when we last saw Chuck, of course, he was on the run getting shot at by police officers. Escaping yeah, my head's just like bleeding like motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. Um, yeah, where, where is Chuck like an hour or two later? Um, I think he has gone... Uh, I was like, okay, cool. I'm uh, I live in a shack outside of town. They think I'm a big weirdo. They think I probably got some like survival bunker in the woods, which I do, but I'm not going there. I'm going there. <laughs> That's where they're gonna look. <laughs> That's where they're gonna look. They're not gonna be able to get in and they might get hurt getting in, but hey, I'm going a, towards I'm the city. A, yeah. a question here. Uh Chuck yeah. look it looks like Chuck is doing internal dialogue. Is there kind of a figure he imagines he's talking to? Um <laughs> I think it's kind of like his ideal self. Like he's kind of like shabby and schlubby, and like he's got like definitely like a soldier of fortune. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> what's it, what, like, what's, like uh, still his face, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what, what uh, cloak and dagger? What Danny? Uh, Danny? What's his name's character? Uh, oh jeez. Um, uh, it's just forever since I saw that. Oh Looking man, it up now. it's like like Jack. Anger. It's not a useful like reference Dagger, for me. 1984 film. Yeah. Which character? I loved that film. Dagger. Uh, that would be. Hal. Talking about Dagny Aircraft Coleman's character. Oh, this is like such. No, a there is a Jack. Thing. Okay. Jack. Yeah, it's, Flack. it's like. Jack Flack, it's like actually his dad, but it's like his idealized, like perfect spy version. Oh, uh, so I, yeah, Dad Nicole, yeah. Uh, so I think actually, yeah, maybe it's like, it's like his idealized version of him that is actually like his dad. Oh wow! Never mind. Okay. I just saw a picture, and now I understand everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you to uh, catch me up on everything. I see. Yeah, and I think his dad was like, uh, like you know. Ah, uh, like they pulled him out of Afghanistan or whatever in 2021, and he's never oh, the same yeah. after that. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we'll we'll name him Charles Gorin, I guess. Yeah, Chuck, Charles, Chuck and Charles. Yeah, yeah, he's the Charles. <laughs> yeah. I'm not Charles. That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to call me Junior, but I didn't, it didn't take. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's kind of having that conversation with like the idealized version of himself slash his dad. Cool. Like, thank you for enjoying yeah. me. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know if the traps are set up at the cabin, but like it's not it's not a oh, cabin. Jesus. It's like it's like a, a dugout into the ground. It's like a, a, he like spent weeks camping out there and like shoveling dirt out and making like a little underground bunker where he's got like timbers on the inside and stuff. Um, <laughs> and like not a whole lot of useful things probably, but he just like saw videos. It's like that's cool. Um, <laughs> so but that's cameras. not where I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the city. I'm gonna no, like no, I you're look, not, son. <laughs> I like uh, I like I, I look like I fit there. You know, I I can I can find a, I can sleep in a dumpster for a while in an alley. I can call uh, I can call someone. Uh, I can call I can call Frank. I can call Frank. Frank you is a cop. Call Frank. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'll call Frank. Holding you out know a what sheet to do. for him. <laughs> you know, I, and I know like the the other cops like the other cops they they hate him so. He's got to be all right, right? Just uh, remember, Frank, Frank, you Frank, Frank, Frank. You show confidence with him, he will yeah, of course. respect you. <laughs> that's what I always do. That I always do that. So that's I got this covered. I got this covered, Charles. Oh man. Uh, yeah. So he like he's. Uh, I think he like uh, is like in an alley. It's it's nighttime. Uh, and there's yeah. no garbage and rats and stuff. And he's just like leaned up against like a like a fire escape with the garbage can next to it. He's like yeah. hold, he's holding up the sheet. Uh, I, I think maybe the sheets are like you swipe it and it like gets rigid, so you don't have to like hold it up. Oh um, yeah, yeah, like like straight up, great. So he's got the sheet and he's like full face, full face Frank. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so Chuck is calling Frank. So did we leave off with me actually being put in a holding cell, or how did how did that actually pan? Oh, out? that's a good question. There's a couple of different realities going on. <laughs> I think we faded out before that. Um, let's see. 
I think you were in the room with the guys. And... Yeah, yeah. I just didn't know if they were actually going to like then take me to a holding cell or what was. Yeah, I feel like they would. Yeah, that feels um, like the worst reality to land on. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I kind of feel like this is a stretch, but I want him to be like just kind of on ice somewhere, but with access with his device still with. Yeah, him. yeah. Like, let's say that they've, they've put you somewhere that doesn't feel very jail-like. It feels sort of like cheesy hotel room. It feels a little like the Malibu. Um, but there's clearly a guard post, like, thumping back and forth outside. Like, like almost well, like a I safe can, house. I was going to yeah. say, maybe yeah. like in one of the interrogation rooms instead of a cell. Like, where yeah. they question a perp. Because that's like... Oh, really okay. Nice yeah, room. that works. That you works, know? yeah. yeah. Like, we don't need to put him in jail cell, but, like... Put him in one of the derogation rooms. Okay, yeah. so let's say you've got outside. like a plain desk and like there is a coffee maker there with some coffee should you want it. Um, and it's like just one or two basic accoutrements, um, maybe a tiny little barred window. Um, and you do have your phone with you, yes. your your sheet. <laughs> and I'm like, Ch Chuck, I don't, <laughs> I don't think Chuck's ever called me before. This. <laughs> What sort of face is Chuck making in the in the picture that comes up on the phone? Um, I, I think I think he thinks he looks really cool because I'm like I got shot by the cops, I got away, I'm so cool. But he's like a mess. He just got like <laughs> blood and dirt, and uh, his hat's gone. Uh, I don't think you've ever seen him without his hat before. Um, his hair, he, like he's got like. You kind of think like a guy like that, he like he wears a hat because he's kind of going bald on top, but he's got like a this like massive shock of like really gnarly matted hair on top. Um like just gray tangles. Uh and he's like he's a he's just a nightmare. Um but he thinks he looks really cool because he's like, I got away from the cops and I got shot. Look at this. Hey, Rupert, Frank, Frank, I got shot. The cops shot me in the head. The cops <laughs> shot me in the head. <laughs> Jesus, Chuck, what the, what the hell happened? And what? I mean, the cops shot me in the head. What did you do? I ran. I ran as fast as I could, but they still got a. They tagged me a little bit, but they didn't stop me. Okay, so <laughs> Chuck, so, but why were you running from the cops? Because they were shooting at me. <laughs> so you didn't. I mean, technically, they shot at me after I started running, but you know, six to one, right? It's uh, they uh, they were banging on the door. They said they had a warrant. I don't know. Maybe it was a heat signature from the the machines. I don't know. They, they probably think I got a weed growing operation or something down there, and I'm ah, that's for that's for chumps. Ah, I, I, yeah. I, I was, you know, I was just wondering, you know, I'm thinking super straight right now because of all the, you know, the blood coming out of my head. But you're really my only friend. Oh, I have, Chuck, have you have you, you said, look, you look like you need to call an ambulance, Chuck. Are you no, 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 no. I don't have. I can't. I can't afford that. I can't afford that. Look. I know, I know cops don't like you. I know you're a cop. I know cops don't like you. I feel like, you know, I, 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 I've never, I've never been in the military <laughs> or anything, but I feel like, you know, I kind of have a, I kind of got a cop vibe sometimes. So I understand why they don't like me. Right. Cause as far as I know, uh, I don't know. Cops all hate each other from what I can tell from you. So <laughs> I was just thinking maybe you could help me out. I don't know. You ran from the police. That's that, yeah. I mean, I don't want to be in jail. I mean, how bad would that be, right? Well, Get caught by the cops and be done, thrown in some... If you hadn't done anything wrong, Chuck, then why would it matter if they were there with a warrant? Where are you? Well, I am... I mean, I'm in... I'm in a Does Chuck trouble. recognize the room? Has Chuck been in that room? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he I don't think he has, but I think oh, he recognizes oh, okay. like it. it it's Maybe from some, a movie. Yeah, he yeah it's like, like some industrial setting. Like I think he's seen <laughs> enough interrogation rooms and, yeah. and videos and things. Like what? Where are you interrogating someone? What's going on with you? No, look, I, I'm sorry. I, I've been talking about myself a lot. <laughs> look, I'm not having. I'm not even. I don't even know where to start with this, Chuck. You ran from the cops, and then you're calling me to help you. I, I am a cop. I can't help a fugitive who ran from the cops. Yeah, kinda. And secondly, I'm in a little bit of trouble with, with them myself, and currently in an interrogation room. What did you dogs. do? I didn't do anything. Oh, I, I didn't so you didn't do anything and the cops came and got you and put you in a hole somewhere, right? Like a deep dark hole? I don't know. How, how are you even getting reception down there in Siberia or whatever? I want to argue with you, but, um, but you have a point. 
I'm going to add a suggestion here. I think Chuck has some sort of technology, some sort of app on his device that lets him know if the line is being tapped. Yeah, yeah. Or being um, overheard from some outside force. And I yeah. think. I think uh, I think this might be a role. Um, oh. I, I think he might. So his uh, his little um, network bridger thing. Um, mm -hmm. I think that might let him like. Uh, I think he's like cool. Hang on a second. He swipes and he like it's a uh, it's a feed from the video camera in in the interrogation room where you're at. Oh um, yeah. Um, and I think this is where the role might be coming. Is like you know what? I'm in trouble. You're in trouble. I think we can help you out. Uh, and I think he wants to. Uh, get into the network of the station and like turn off cameras and pop locks so pop the locks. so yeah yeah so frank can like, walk out i feel like the app is called tap that app yeah tap oh that app <laughs> yeah and chuck made it um <laughs> it's like so it's probably got an name. eagle for the icon <laughs> yeah but it's like a weird generative algorithm eagle like, like is it Eagle, bear, blender, supermodel, like, I don't know. Some, somebody fed a bunch of patriotic imagery to a yeah. deep learning, learning system and it produced like this. Weird yeah, yeah, red, yeah. white, and blue teddy bear with no borders on it, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I think I think hacking into the police station security system is definitely... Okay, and so the <laughs> good, the like good outcome... I, I think he's doing it and not listening. I'm like, Chuck, Chuck, do not, Chuck, do not. Oh, yeah. hang, whether you want, do not whether you want him to or not, he's, Chuck. yeah. And and so the good outcome is that he successfully turns the lights out, pops the locks and everything. Um, yeah, that, that Frank has uh, access to leave, as he will. What is um, the bad outcome here? Um, I think the bad outcome is, like the bad outcome is that A, uh, the cops can backtrace him to where he is. Um, and B, they have already been, they've, they've already used that connection to, uh, in fact, they know what he's doing all the time anyway. And oh, God. Come up and they're like, we got you, Frank. Uh, <laughs> we got you, Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> Something like well, that. No, no, I, I, let me up that, Anti, by saying yeah, yeah. that also makes them solidify their case against me. It's like, oh, yeah. see, Frank is more... <laughs> He's working with He's working with Chuck. that dissident or whatever, yeah. And obviously helping him run that hacker terrorist. And now he's trying to help him back. They're partners somehow. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. Look at the questions. Are you high? Who am I high? Um no, I don't think I am. I don't think I brought any static or pills with me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um unfortunate for you. Is this something that you're good at? I think this is something that I'm good at for okay. sure. Is it part of your job? <laughs> it's not part of my job. No. Part of his fantasy job. Yeah. Have you read about something like this? I, I've definitely read about something <laughs> like this on the internet somewhere. It's a lot of reading. Okay. Um, the other questions, are you too high or not high enough? Ooh. I, I might not be high enough. Yeah, I'm kind uh, of thinking. I'm, yeah, I think I got the jitters and the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I need to relax high. more. If okay, you're not take... high at all, then you can't yeah. be high enough. <laughs> True. Uh, is this unlike anything you've ever seen before? Uh, no, I think I'm. I've, I've been playing around this for a while. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> is it an unfamiliar environment? It is an unfamiliar environment. And are you hurt <laughs> like, or otherwise fucked up? I have been shot in the head. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, so that's three dice. Uh, lower one of them by one. And we'll Alrighty. See that takes us. Uh, let's see, I actually have to roll dice. Sure, you'll be fine. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. First dice. Oh my what? god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. So that's a one, a one, and a zero. Oh my Let's god. You as you will. Okay. Um, cool. Which so, one would you like to put where? Uh, I'll put the zero in the good thing box, I guess. <laughs> okay. So the good thing does not happen, the bad thing does happen. And reality goes down, which oh means uh, if if I can make a bid for this, yeah. um, <laughs> I think I think maybe it's not just the cops. I no, think, no, it's not. Uh, since reality is going down to contact a vast <laughs> intelligence, yes. uh, I think that is. <laughs> I think that's what uh, contacts me through it. They're, that's like somehow with the cops or authorities or something, and mm -hmm. it's like. We got you, Chuck. 
Oh, okay, okay. We need to tell you something, but you 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 go for it. I'm um, <laughs> I'm at the whims of the universe right oh now. God. Oh God! Doomed us both, Chuck. You doomed us both. Oh. Or did I save us? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I have an idea. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to combine cops and vast intelligence uh, to say, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, your your sheet goes blank. Um, your sheet pops up with an icon um, that says Singularity Systems designing safety for you. It blinks sometimes, <laughs> and then your own face pops up on the sheet, and it says, nice. "Hello, Chuck. This is I know everything you know." I know everything you've ever done. I know everything you've ever learned. This can go the easy way or this can go the hard way. The easy way is you turn yourself in to the van that's pulling around the corner right now. <laughs> and right on cue, a van shows up yeah. and just stops and idles. The hard way is that you run <laughs> and then just freezes in place. <laughs> Uh, I think the I, I think Chuck sort of like stands up and realizes that he's lost more blood than he thought, um, <laughs> and uh, he like frisbees the sheet into the wall and just clunks off the wall. He's like, "I never was one for the easy way," and then like starts staggering like he's gonna run, and kind of like spins around and looks at the van and just passes out and falls over. <laughs> all that scene there <laughs> I, that feels like a good end that to, feels like yeah, me and then credits <laughs> oh my god that's definitely the end of episode one virtual <laughs> chuck is now oh man Lawn more man chuck has appeared <laughs> the chuck's in a truck frink's in a cell <laughs> miriam's stuck in a weird frink's house. in the brink chuck's in a truck <laughs> miriam's <laughs> Got a pillow. Got a not pillow. Kibble's got a pillow. <laughs> oh my God. Miriam's gonna Ooh, bear, boy. bury him. I'm gonna drop that reality down to two while I'm thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, I already dropped that down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yep. Uh, so now if we allocate higher than two to reality, it can go back up. <laughs> but only up to three, and then it goes down again. <laughs> Oh, it, it can keep oh. going up until. Oh, okay. It has yeah. to go down to two at least once before. It can yeah, and then okay. and then it's so then it's, it's up or down depending. Three again. Oh, no, 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 no. After that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like then you can start bringing it back up, and uh, you can't. You have to. I think I did. Yeah, yeah you, you have to roll. You have to roll higher than it, so you can't get it up to six, but you can get it to five. Yeah, you can't roll a six and bump it with. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, I guess if you have a six and bump it, you could get it back to six. And then uh, everything is perfectly normal. Everything is fine again. Oh boy! Fine. That's a ride. That's a good. How I did a good. I did a good game. Yeah, right. <laughs> I felt this very good. Well taken care of as temporary GM. <laughs> that yeah. worked out way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> well, the great thing about it, it does seem like that, you know, the GMing is not. It's such a collaborative storytelling game. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the GM role is not so different from the players that like, mm. once you take yeah. it, like, oh, you just no, set no, up no, a scene. Yeah. yeah, it feels like the, the GM is more like a uh, facilitator. It's like, I'm keeping track of the rules. And I'm like, if you don't have an idea, I'm going to set up scenes for you. Oh, and yeah, yeah. I'm going to like it, it is put fun you the way you have something's a bad. Strictly because of the flip-flopping of taking over another character. Like, yeah. Yeah. instead of having like four characters. And, yeah, oh, unless man. you like roll three ones or something, like hey. you can usually choose whether you're going to be GM. So wow. I'd be like, I never want a JM, and just don't do that. <laughs> that was brutal. Oh man, that is one of the oh, more astounding dice rolls I've seen. It. It's amazing. <laughs> what is? That? I don't even know. It's not snake eyes. It's like mutant snake eyes. A tri triple yeah. snake eyes. Yeah, it's a Buddhist snake eye. <laughs> it just opened its third eye and yeah. enlightened, Ooh. enlightened snake eyes. <laughs> enlightened cursed dice. <laughs> Any oh, wow. plan. That was great. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. <laughs> ah. uh, and, oh. and we can pick up there next week, or we can say like, "That's good." Uh, I'm that's curious to see what happens, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah we still... I kind of want to follow that shape of like, oh, yeah. it's a little bit weirder. <laughs> yeah, and Miriam still got some stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. At one point, I thought like when Miriam's scene was going on, 
I thought, because you mean she was feeling like a little bit threatened and was like, oh, what do I do here? Before Clarice left, I thought maybe the next scene might have been like him driving by and, and getting a call from both Chuck and Miriam at the same time. Both oh, man. <laughs> you have to choose. Oh, man. Who's That'd your be best cool. friend? Oh, I'm glad uh, that's to great. On there. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff there. Yeah. I like it. I can now yeah, recommend this good. game to people for real. <laughs> I do think adding that, adding that like stinky, smelly, sexy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beginning was helpful too. Yeah. And that's just like a general overall GM technique of like, let's throw some. I know that we, we tend there. to do that naturally because we have acting training, but. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, like whatever the one I wrote, the the uh, the Fall of Troy game I just put together, I that put that in explicitly. Like, mm -hmm. say how you know each other and how you feel about each other. Oh, cool. Now go. Uh, I also love that we had a character that just did like anybody. I'm sorry. Nobody liked him. No, but it worked out well because we had the three. And then it was like, well. you're my only friend. And like, oh. <laughs> Who said that? I said that. Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> oh man, those pictures were so inspirational. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Really good. Thank you, generator. Oh, I definitely think, yeah, I did, I did think uh, Chuck's overdeveloped sense of self-importance. It would make sense that Frank is his only friend because he sees him almost as like the the yin and the yang. Oh, <laughs> you're my yeah, you're my only <laughs> worthy ad you're like my moriarty only worthy. <laughs> yeah, like or my the moriarty i'm not sure yeah, yeah. That's your lucky, uh, <laughs> only worthy opponent yeah i definitely think chuck thinks he's sherlock <laughs> yep <laughs> oh too good Ooh. oh man no it's good times um cool All i'm right. playing a mars mega game tomorrow morning so i'm gonna get up at eight o'clock to play with people in England for six or seven hours. Oh, cool. <laughs> no, I mean, should, be, should be good. Yeah. I have no idea how it's going to go. Ha. Huh. That is the best. Oh, boy. We oh. played the cyberpunk one, and I was security, but I didn't really know what I was doing. So like all the runners would jump, jump in the Slack channel, and they'd be like, we're coming for you. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Help me, and I, I had runners like teaching me how to play. Aww. <laughs> I was like, "What do I do next?" And they're like, "Oh, then you roll against us." Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, and what would I do if like I wanted to make a good choice? <laughs> and I guess mega mega games are just games with a lot of players. Basically, or... yeah, they're kind of like large scale board games with some LARP elements in them. Uh, and then since they are such large scale, you can have people split into different roles. So like we had like 45 people or so in the cyberpunk game. And so some people were playing like hacker gangs and some people were playing press and some people were like playing corporate CEOs who had to negotiate. I was playing a researcher that had this like weird card matching mini game to do research <laughs> to yeah. build stuff for the other players to use. Oh, cool. Um, so I mostly spent spent yeah. our money buying scorpion robots and yeah. trying to protect our corporation. Yeah, and our, our CEO is like, oh, you gotta like keep investing in this AI or whatever. I'm like, I don't know, it says on my character sheet that I'm spending all my money trying to figure out how luck works. So I'm putting all my research into that. <laughs> we all had we did all have <laughs> secret objectives too. Mine was yeah. to build murder bots. <laughs> That's the scorpion <laughs> bots. So I was like, Mark, research this thing for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deadly scorpions, cool. <laughs> yeah. It was okay. They last a long time. Yeah, it, they are they are grueling sometimes. Uh, yeah. yeah, I didn't have a ton of fun in the last one, but it's an interesting experience. Yeah. 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 The online ones are really different than the in-person ones because, I mean, I, <laughs> I guess like we did the Game of Thrones doing... one. Yeah, and I was a meister, which was also felt like weird research busy work. Where I was uh, like, yeah, uh, yeah. It's my I job. I, started... I have to wear this weird chain and roll dice <laughs> and collect crystals. <laughs> but it was like a chain made of like different colors, shower ring, shower curtain rings. Or something yeah, like it that. was. Like, <laughs> I was like, we were like shower curtain rings, and I'm like, okay. Was I the was I the head of the house for that one? 
I think you were the Lord, yeah. Was that, yeah, so it was like House Horror, H-O-A-R-E, which is like pre- whatever There's some horrors in this house. Uh, uh, um, so like that. my job was just like Thankful. go around and like convince everyone to help us. Oh, okay. Did you <laughs> but, not do a great job of? No, I did a really oh, bad no. job. <laughs> and the whole thing was like the Targaryens are coming. So like everyone has to like fight amongst themselves, but also prepare for war. And there was yes. dragons at some point. And come to think of it, the the biggest difference between in-person mega games and online mega games, because um, they run on Discord and like use bots and stuff. Um, uh-huh. But there are physical tokens and stuff to represent resources and dragon eggs, for example. So, uh-huh. And if, if you have someone who is really good pickpocket. Yeah, and if like someone Mark. was, someone just left their dragon egg card on the table for their house while someone else walked by and it accidentally fell into their pocket, then suddenly, suddenly House Horror has a dragon. So we did <laughs> have <laughs> nuclear weapons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that, that's the only thing that kept us from like, getting wiped out by the Targaryens when they came. <laughs> it was like, you want a dragon egg? It's like, let's be cool. Let's be cool. Here, take it. I'm... Yeah, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't smush us like they did everyone else because we were like, you want your thing back? We stopped you. <laughs> <laughs> we're literally nobody. Just like, be, let's be cool. I think you dropped this, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we'll see how the Mars one goes. Cool. Yeah, I have to read the rule book tonight. <laughs> people are people like there's a, a there's a Discord, a whole Discord set up for the game, and like they sign roles and stuff. Yeah, and, like people go in like several days ahead of time and start like role playing, and I'm just like, wow. I don't know, man. Just like tell me what cards to get. <laughs> <laughs> Not super interested in whatever's going on right now until it means something. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's fun. Cool. Uh, <sighs> hmm. All righty. Okay. I will go apologize to my family for talking <laughs> very, very loud at near midnight here. Or are they your family? Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm gonna go read some more game books. Woo! Cool. Good game. Have a good night, y'all. Show next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah.